Are you a boner guy? Oh, I was a boner guy. You know what? I miss penis. What are you talking about? I'm the one who should apologize. By the way, for those people that are in the back, remember to shut the fuck up. What a dick. I've been dying to say that. Cuz. Cuz a roo. Cuz a roo. Slap a rooney. It's showtime. W A T P. W A T P. Hello and welcome to a bonus emergency episode of Who Are These Podcasts. I'm your host, Carl Hamburger. With me today is Jen from the Jingles Department. Hello. And we have a very special guest dropping in. Two, 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 world order. T W O. Yay! Hello, Carl. Hello, Jen. What is happening, Tuki? Hello, Tuki. It's fantastic to be here. I like Jed. You say hi to him like Wendy says hi to him. Hi, Turkey. Hi, Turkey. <laughs> oh, it's fantastic. Yes. <laughs> All the ladies love Tuki. It is very uh, flattering to Tuki. <laughs> it certainly is. And I appreciate you being here because mm-hmm. Stuttering John did a show on Saturday. Oh, and perfect. there's so much going on. I cannot even keep up with it. Here's the plan today I want to play for you, John being his crybaby self and being the victim and playing the victim card and explaining to all of us how important teaching was to him Mm -hmm. and how us in the dabble verse has not only robbed him of his teaching profession, but those kids, the kids who needed him. How can we do this to the kids? He told us all about how his love for touching other people's kids. He loved to touch (laughs) other people's kids. Oh yeah. Did you pick up on that too? I I sure did. I was laughing. (laughs) LOLing. I just, put here on this planet to teach and touch other people's kids <laughs> even the troublemakers this kid so, all he needed was to sit in front of me and gaze his eyes on the goat we also have tuki a very special guest coming up who Ooh. has some information that Ooh. they're going to drop that i don't even know about yet there's going to be some big revelations coming out mm-hmm. in today's show. Very exciting. So, yes, stick around for that. But first up, I want to talk about John always starts his show unprepared every single time. Yeah. Saturday's show was no exception. Now, before this show started, a little peek behind the curtain, we had Tuki come on. Well, El Harible came on. I'm like, what the fuck are you doing here? Mm-hmm. Where's Tuki? Uh, Jen, I adjusted where the camera was pointing at you. I adjusted my camera. We got everything ready to go. It's very easy to do in StreamYard. Yes. You can take your time and get things prepared before the show starts. Well, he's unprepared before the show, during the show. That's true. The whole show. That's true. He's always unprepared. Always be unprepared is John's (laughs) motto. So this is John. Now, John's got a green screen. And the way that StreamYard works, there is this green stream, uh, green (laughs) screen adjustment. You Mm -hmm. can go in and toggle. And he has it set all wrong, so it was like shit. Yeah, hey, baby, how are you? Wow. Wow. He looks radioactive. Wow. Yeah, so you can see all the green <laughs> glowing around him. His couch is missing. Oh, fantastic. Maybe he can answer <laughs> as we speak. Yay! <laughs> Maybe he'll become a super zero. Oh, a super zero. Yes, he is recru- recruiting a new army of mutants. He has started yeah. to hashtag LGBT groups to say what the horrible video that Rocco t- talked about. Oh, it was horrible. Oh, oh my God. We'll, we'll get into the Rocco stuff. Wow. Oh, he's he so is cool. very upset with Rocco and Timothy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my Lordy. I just have. Man, do I got news for you. All right, so watch. Now he's oh. gonna. Right, now I can see his couch. Now he can't. Now it's back, <laughs> <laughs> but but it's still blurred out. Let's start, shall we? I, do you want to? I mean, <laughs> whenever you're ready, there, John. Figure it out. We are watching a man lose his mind in real time. It's fantastic. Is this a bit? Is no. it a bit that he's this bad at this? No, he has nothing. I don't think so either. He has no friends to do shows with. This is the kind of stuff that drives him crazy most of all, Carl. The fact that we are here goofing and having fun as friends he cannot find anyone to do that even his political show those two don't want to be there 
Well, hold on a second. DG is not John's good, good friend. Is well, that what you're telling me? Well, DG would love to be his friend, but uh, even John doesn't want to be friends with DG. No one wants to be friends with DG. <laughs> he is a nothing. He is such a loser, that DG. Oh. He sucks. That's All right. what you can get, I say. I, I'm going to get into the, John's act of how important he was at this middle school. But before we do that, I just want to address this. He talks about it all the time. We've probably addressed it before, but let me just say this again. John talking about how when he gets canceled, his, his stand-up gigs got canceled. He got his job taken away from him. I like to say if you take away someone's income, that's an act of violence. And the reason why I say that is because we're out of the realm of comedy at this point. We're all doing comedy shows. We're trying to have fun, trying to have a good time. As soon as you get to like striking channels, trying to get Patreon taken down or canceling gigs, live gigs. My buddy Anthony Kumia goes through, goes through this all the time. That's shitty. That's a really shitty thing yes. to do. It's not funny. No one's having a good time with it. So this is what John's talking about here. And take away their income. As Lady Kmart would say, that's an act of violence. Unless it's done to me. Now, first off, I'll just point out. I've never once said that I enjoy when John's gigs are canceled. Mm -hmm. I've always said the opposite. Yes, you have. Don't get John's gigs canceled. We want more gigs. We want John doing more things. Yes. That's always good for the show. So I've never told people to cancel his gigs. I've never even told people to stop giving him money, as some potatoes have. Mm -hmm. In fact, mm -hmm. last year, you, you might remember last year, I actually pleaded with people to start giving him money so that he stayed on the internet. And well, I yeah, got a lot of flack for that. Yeah, everyone was mad at you for that. <laughs> yeah, people were pissed. They're like, I'm not giving this asshole money. Like, okay, you don't have to. I'm just saying it would it'd be good, but okay. If it's done to me, it's okay. Ain't that right, Lady K? Never said it. But if it's done to anybody else, it's an act of violence. Look, you know, I, I'm not the guy they like to pretend I am. No? As Vinnie Paulino will tell you, uh -huh. I know even Vinnie... Lady K. Well, I, I know both of those people. <laughs> <laughs> All right, who else are you going to list that's going to vouch for you, Chad? Let's see. Even Vince the fucking dickhead. <laughs> Anybody who knows me, even Jacob, the guy that is going to do a documentary on. Me. Okay. Who? Even Brendan. A guy that's my, one of my patrons. What? They all know that I'm a decent human friends. being. I'm a good man. Can you imagine the, the five people he said would vouch for him that he's a, a good guy? Vinny Paulino. Mm -hmm. Myself. Yeah. Jacob, who's been contacting. He's been mentioning this guy Jacob's name. I guess he wants to do a documentary or a reality mm -hmm. show or something. He's said both things. Uh, and then he's got... Vinny the lawyer who's mm -hmm. fucking with John nonstop. I I mean in in this show. Yeah, it's just it's just nonstop <laughs> and fucking with him. And then one of his Patreon supporters. Brandon. <laughs> Bray Brandon. Brandon. He'll tell you. So Stupid. John is a shitty guy. I have two examples. I could come up with a lot more, but I think these two demonstrate that John's a shitty guy. First off, he said it was so hurtful when I said that his daughter looked like she was Baba Booey's kid, and that was an insult to Baba Booey. If that was so terrible, why would John repeat that over and over and over again? If it's the worst thing you could say about someone, well, then don't repeat it. You want it to go away. John repeats it over mm -hmm. and over again. His daughter does not watch my show. I'm pretty no. sure. Of course she doesn't. She might watch John's show. She might watch her dad's show. I bet she doesn't. I bet she doesn't, but she might. So if there's any way she's going to hear that information, it's going to be coming from John. So if it's so <laughs> terrible... Why are you repeating it? It makes you a bad person for doing that if it's so terrible. Second example. The post that Anthony put up on Twitter about the trans son. John made sure that got on Vice TV, which proves right. that he's putting his own vendetta over his own children's mental health. Right. He, what would, do you want? he would rather get over on, on Anthony than actually protect his uh, son. Right. What is? What do you want, John? Three hundred bucks, and then you'll take the strikes away because you sold out your own kid for three hundred bucks. Oh, they right. give me the three hundred bucks. It was great, and a balloon. <laughs> what an what an asshole! <laughs> I got a balloon. I got to carry that, it around and walk around. That makes cool. him a really shitty person. Yeah. Right. But no. Bragging about it. According to John, 
he's the greatest guy in the world. He's going to explain why when he was a substitute teacher. I go, I go out of my way to be kind. Mm. When I was teaching school, <laughs> teachers don't usually call kids that get A's. I did. People usually don't call the parents of kids that get A's. I did. Hello? <laughs> I did. Okay. Yeah, you got, <laughs> got distracted there for a second. So John is such a great guy that he would call the parents of the students who got A's on their exams. That's how amazing he is. I know. Bravo. Okay. Thank God. And this is a substitute teacher we're talking about, right? Correct. Yes. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what has changed in the world, but when Tukey was in school, all substitute teachers did was sit at the teacher's desk and take shit from the kids all day. Yeah. And play a video. Yeah. Oh, it's video time or, you know, do your homework, study hall. But yeah, yep. no, what substitute teacher called your house because you got an A on a test? This is all fucking bullshit. So John was calling, and I'll play the clip in a little bit. Every single time any student got an A, he called the parents. <laughs> and they're probably like, who just, are you? It's just so fucking weird. But it goes back to that thing where John just needs friends. Yeah. He just needs to talk to someone on the phone. He gets He's mad at Vince the lawyer right now because he didn't answer the phone. Oh. That's, that's ridiculous. <laughs> Hello, Mrs. Smith. This is John Melendez, formerly of The Tonight Show. Now, currently, <laughs> what did you teaching your kid? I just wanted to let you know that he did a report on Nicholas Cage, and he got an A+. Plus. Imagine that. He's giving out A+. pluses. What a retard. A+, plus doesn't mean anything, you stupid fuck. Your daughter's almost as hot as Pamela Anderson. <laughs> so this is... John, talking about what a great guy he is. Thank God those parents of those students aren't delivery people or customer service reps oh, for yeah. his uh, internet company because that's this is the way he treats them. Something to lie about. What? <laughs> Who is it? Who? I didn't order pizza. Go away. Do not disturb. I didn't order it. And find out who did so you can report them. Find out whoever called, get their phone number, and report them. Jesus, John, this person just trying to deliver something to you. They don't know what's going on. Mm -hmm. Who is he going to report them to if he... <laughs> report them i know i'm right on it sir thank you mr melendez <laughs> sue them. ready to report sue them for damages <laughs> Love them they sue them for damages because the phone number they called from was obviously real right yeah i know they're definitely gonna be able to track that person down take him right to prison all right you ready for story time Ooh, yeah. john is going to talk about how he changed people's lives starting with this one i had a student uh-oh who was a troublemaker <laughs> Here we go. Before. Think of your baby girl. The next year I had him. He was in my science class. Come on, cry. I said, you. You sit right in front of my desk. Oh. Why, Mr. Melendez? Because I you're said, Because I know you're very smart, but you're goofing off and you're not applying yourself. He thinks he's I Michelle you Pfeiffer. Right in front of me. So yes. you listen to me <laughs> and you understand what I'm saying. And when I give you the exams that I write myself that you do well. This kid takes his first exam. Fuck off. It's an A plus. <gasps> yeah! Bug asshole he is. <laughs> let, me, let me look. Let me look up to the sky. Because God is looking down on me and saying, John, you are one of my precious angels. Thank God John is here to tell us how great he is. I know. You will, will never find out otherwise. Well, 
it's funny you say that, Tukey, because rich people never talk about how much money they have. Mm -hmm. Smart mm -hmm. people never talk about being smart. And mm -hmm. generous people don't brag about being generous. No. Very true. And Chud constantly is bragging about how smart he is, how much money he has, and how generous he is. I think all three of those things are lies. Wow! I agree. <laughs> I know. Go figure. I love that he explains he writes the exam himself. He goes on to explain there's 20 questions and a bonus question. This is not difficult to do. He acts like that's an amazing accomplishment. I made the exam myself. It's supposed to be algebra, and it's probably like first year math. Well, one I wonder how many, people, how many students got an A+, plus. all of them? Yes. <laughs> That's probably the easiest shit ever. Bro, and his question was, what is the largest planet? Largest planet. He throws out, <laughs> he throws out those first grade facts. Like, I know. He'd be like, holy shit, John knows what the largest planet is. So but he thinks, he thinks that's what learning is, is like knowing <laughs> dumb shit like that. <laughs> These kids are learning. They're going to be ready for college when I'm done with them. Okay, so this is... Now, this kid, the story he's telling, this kid who um, was a troublemaker. Right. Gangbanger. He puts him in the front of the class. Yes. Wow, what a new concept. <laughs> How amazing. <laughs> so then this kid got an A+, plus, so he called this kid's mom because he's a hero. Uh-oh. Did I not clip this correctly? I call his parents. Get on the phone with his mother. Said, hi, Miss. Hi, this is Mr. Melendez. I teach at so-and-so. I'm your son's science teacher. Squeeze out a tear. Let's he go. Said, what does my son do now? Oh, no. <laughs> your son. I said, your son got an A-plus on his exam. Like that? She said, no way. Look. And then she said. I said, yes. And then I said. I said, your son is very bright. And then I said. He's just got to stay focused. You got a good kid there. You should be very proud. <laughs> Stuttery Jeff Lenders, person of the year, Time Magazine. Your son is very, very, very lucky, Mrs. Anderson, that he yes. met me. It was only when he, after he met me, that he was able to see his full potential. I just want to let you know. Tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> I want to let you know your son was probably going to do 20 years hard time if he had not met me, but I had put him on the straight and narrow. Are you single? <laughs> hey, right. you still fucking his dad. I mean, <laughs> you need to fuck it. I mean, your son's 11, so it's probably been a few years, right? Oh, people tell me. I don't know. <laughs> All right, so now after that, he's overwhelmed with how amazing he is, and he has to collect himself. And this takes him a minute. <laughs> it's like watching Casey Anthony try to cry on a trial. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Think of your baby daughter. Think of her when you held her in your arms so long ago. All the hopes and dreams you had, John. So that <sighs> day that kid went back to his mother. Get a beer. <laughs> what thing? He gets snot in his eyes. So. We were talking about, you ever see the movie Brain Candy? I know it's a Kids in the Hall movie. I'm dating myself, obviously. No. So Brain Candy, they invent this drug that uh, for depression, when you take it, it puts you in your happy place and you remember a fond memory over and over and over again. Oh, sure. And we were talking the other day about for Stuttering John, it would be when it was announced that he won the fight over Cabby and they're holding his arm up in that yeah. ring. And all those people are there, and Artie's there, and Howard, and Robin, and that's the big winner. Like, I this is the winner. I can't. I would be replaying that moment over and over again for infinity. He'd be stuck in that loop. Mm -hmm. At least he'd be happy. Yep. Oh, yeah. That, that, was his, that was his big crowning achievement in life. Okay. So now he just worked himself up. He's going to start uh, wiping some tears. And that story that he just told us about that kid who got an A-plus on mm -hmm. one exam, because sixth grade science is so important. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's really important that you get a, an A-plus on an exam 
changes everything with your life. So apparently there was a internal meeting with the teachers and he told that same story. <laughs> After he wipes and his that kid was me. Grew up to be Hunter Biden. <laughs> and all of his friends. Robbed a 7-Eleven that very afternoon. <laughs> Probably. Started to sit closer to my desk. And started all doing exceptionally better. Exceptionally better. better. And when we had PD, it's called professional development. Uh -huh. That's what all the teachers, I told the story of this, of this kid. Doesn't stand for penis diddling? And I said <laughs> to them, I didn't mention the kid's name. Of course you didn't mention the kid's name. It's about you. The story's about you, John. He's like, I didn't even mention the kid's name because it's about how amazing I am as a teacher and a person. The kid's let's, name let's be is Frank. Gordon. <laughs> yeah. Everybody remember what I did here. <laughs> By the way, that is what narcissism is. Oh. Yes. <laughs> Making the story about you, not the student. He's a narcissistic dipshit. If I had to uh, Agreed. put my finger on it. And also this thing with the crying, working himself up like this. I mean, these are real tears that are coming out. I, I know he's putting it on, but do you remember on the Howard Stern show, Richard Christie would get all emotional over the dumbest shit. Oh yeah. He'd be talking about a cartoon he liked Yeah, and he'd get worked up and worked up into tears. Mm -hmm. And Howard would say, this is tied to alcohol abuse. Oh, now I don't know if that's true or not. I don't know what the. Uh, the health behind that is the science behind that, but uh, I don't. It seems like John's getting worked up way too easily here. Just remember, <laughs> a kid who got an A on a test. I mean, he's trying. He's not really getting worked up, but he's trying. He's trying his heart out. He's well, really he's, trying to cry. There's no tears here, Carl. There are tears coming up. He's very proud of himself here. Yeah, if you squeeze enough, I mean, eventually something will leak out of you. Well, I'm, I'm pretty sure. Enough. I'm pretty sure in this next clip, there is someone cutting onions right in front of him. That's the only thing I can figure with this. Just got to give the kid attention, man. Show me care. What a total fag! <laughs> <laughs> Come on, where are the tears, Carl? <laughs> well, <all right. laughs> eyes? quite a few kids that's true he does get snotty without being emotional yeah, on the show. out of his nose that's a good point you know i've seen first responders who went into the twin towers on 9 11 right. recount that day they don't get this emotional about yeah. it no john he, acts like he's a fucking hero john thinks he was in band of brothers yes right yeah <laughs> fucking idiot all right so uh here's more proof that John just needs friends. Any time a kid got an A, I call. So maybe the first time it's nice, but eventually the parents have to be like, you wouldn't believe who's calling me again. Yeah. <laughs> Chris's substitute science teacher. I think we need to block him. He keeps fucking calling us. Hey, did you get another A? Can you get a C <laughs> or something? I'm sick and yeah. tired. Of having you don't want to talk to him. Your substitute teacher. He tells me you got an A, and then he starts talking to me about his daily life, and then he asks me to borrow money. I don't need this. Okay, I work. I'm a single mother. All right. So, you ask the question: Why do you call the parents every time a kid gets an A? John answers that question for us. Because why shouldn't that parent <laughs> hear something good about that child? Dick. Why could why shouldn't that parent be proud of that child? Why not? You're a creep. <laughs> Whoa. 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 I would have enhanced the audio on that one just a little bit. Fantastic. So at this point, I'm like, how do we even get here? What are we even talking about right now? It started off where he's yelling about getting canceled and fired and strikes and Cardiff. And this was a real roller coaster. It was like a roller coaster ride of emotion, <laughs> I know. this one. It really is insane. I'm Claims that substitute teaching was his true calling. But then right. I think in the same episode, he's like, 
I chose entertainment. Or no, entertainment chose me. I did not choose entertainment. Whatever he said. Yeah, well, I'm gonna get more. I'm gonna get more into this whole thing. If he was so important to the school, things would have gone down differently, I imagine. Mm-hmm. But let's take a quick break because I want to bring on. We have a special guest that we're gonna talk to. He's got some inside information that I'm very interested to learn about. Very quickly though. I want to get caught up. People are supporting the show, and I do appreciate that, including my boy Joey C becoming a YouTube member. Thank you very much. Dang Lizard with two euros. SJ most definitely makes more than six figures. Look at his face. (laughs) Dang Lizard. Wrong chat. Whatever. Have fun. Okay. (laughs) Mason in Portland, two dollars. Justice for sodomy. Unblock her, John. (laughs) Unblock sodomy, John. Madam Priest. Hi, Carl. The only guy I know who cried more than SJ this weekend is poor Patty Mahomes. Oh, boy. Yeah. He was upset after that game. Well, Throwing well. his helmet around. Losing to the Bills is embarrassing at this point. Nick Tucker, $4. Thanks for all the bonus SJ shows. Skull! Go Pats! What? <laughs> go Pats. Talk about Pat Dixon. Oh, okay. Go go Pat Dixon. He's not a Geno Vol- guy. He's a Pat guy. Voltaire. Is Jen responsible for the dated tips? I cannot yeah. take responsibility. Jen, do I do I have t- uh what, what's the term for frosted tips? Well, frosted tips, but nobody does that anymore. Nobody does that anymore, including me. Hi, Annie. Look at it's Tuki's girlfriend, Annie. Oh, hello, oh. Annie. She's F so John cool. Melendez. Agreed. Thank you, Annie. And John's mom. I wish I was. <laughs> no, no. You'll be fine. You'll be good. Birch the Great. Tuki is the best. Two, 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 key world order. T-W-O. Dang Lizard with five euros. Greatest season finale to any show. Sad Sack Saturday. Crying and lying with SJ was the best. That really was like, it felt like a season finale. It did. It did. It was good. Ask with two bucks. Patreon picks of Annie Wen, please, Carl. I'll, I'll talk to her. I'll find out. Whoa! Get some bikini picks. TWO, we have your back. Fuck stuttering John. Agreed, PT. Two, 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 key world order. TWO. Toddler Mode Melendez, unprepared to broadcast. He's been unprepared for adulthood for 40 years. Fuck stuttering John. TWO. Mm-hmm. Blind Mike's in the chat. WATS tomorrow. Tell them. Thank you for reminding me. Special uh, day and time this week, Tuesday. 5 30 p.m. Eastern. We'll be doing Who Are These Socials? I got a busy schedule this fucking December. Uh, Hacko Burrow, TWO. Oh, oh no, he docks me. Put the kids oh, no. in the bunker. Oh no. My name. <laughs> I, I'm surprised you're saying that when I know where you live. Uh-huh. I know yeah, your we name. all know. Yep, you put it on Twitter for some reason. I guess I'm not supposed to take that as a threat, but whatever. <laughs> Cardiff is threatening me, and I know where he lives. Uh. <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> He's the dumbest guy ever. Oh, she was my crystals. Did you contact NYU like you said you would? Very funny. Uh, drunk engineer two bucks. John's not a human being, much less a decent one. Yeah, good point. Mm-hmm. It's barely mm-hmm. even human at this point. Or beta patch five bucks. Keep in mind when watching this that John says he's the puppet master, and he's also the goat. Purple, our boy Purple is a member for one month. Fuck starting John, TWO, love you, Carl. The only thing John teaches is confusion in both his students and children. Oof. I hear what you're saying. Edward Murphy, SJ, has a very punchable face. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I think your hand would get stuck in it if you punched him. <laughs> <laughs> it's so soft. Or at least get but wet. It well, definitely get wet. Sticky. Yes. Yeah, you pull it off. Just... <laughs> Ugh. Ugh. Which I what do is that? that? Why does he smack his lips constantly? He's very wet. And <laughs> and we've talked about this. I really think that his apartment, that shitty little uh, duplex he lives in on the basement floor, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. is so disgusting. He needs to have it cleaned like professionally. It's probably full of black mold. Or it probably something. is. Don't be and racist. I was, I was messaging with uh, Doug from the Jingles Department about this. He has two cats. He's on his couch and they never jump up. 
You never see them cool. anywhere near John. That's what cats do all the time. They want to jump up and play with your uh, computer. They want to jump on your lap. What's what's up with that? I guess there was a sighting recently, Tuki. Oh, really? I did not see. I don't know. Okay. I thought I heard that on uh, Cardiff show. Because that would make him Possibly. slightly appealing if he had an actual The cats pet. don't even want to be near him. No, I know. <laughs> cats do not like this guy. It's insane. <laughs> John is like the Archie Bunker that America hates. <laughs> mm-hmm. Anthony Torito, two bucks. Funniest SJ episode ever. I laugh so hard. I hate him. Wait a minute. Better than last night's Watch Me Sleep episode? Uh, <laughs> by the way, Tukey, thank you for uh, teasing that. I have that entire episode that we're going to play today. <gasps> oh, Spread up at 2000 He got us. He got us all. <laughs> yeah, I know. With Who knew that, that was a bit, huh? <laughs> by getting half the viewers he normally gets, he got us. If Don't any of us went on and just pretended to sleep, we'd at least get 300 viewers, John. You're stupid. Well, I have the tweet, too, where he brags about mm-hmm. how much he accomplished in that. Uh, <laughs> Drunk Man Sambo, five bucks. People terrorizing John with unpaid deliveries makes me giggle like a schoolgirl every time. It's a good bit. <laughs> it's not getting old, that's for sure. Timothy McD coming in. My science class. Yeah, I know. Not your science class. Whoever has cancer that you're filling in for, you asshole. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. M- Mrs. Roberts? Yeah, hi, this is Mr. Melendez. Sally got an A on a test. I, an NYU graduate, made myself. <laughs> I have... I can see that being the script. Do you know who else is an NYU graduate? Who's that? April Brucker. That chick with the puppets? Oh, right. Yes. Your friend. <laughs> She's an NYU graduate. So it's not that impressive? Is that what you're no. saying? Who gives a shit? Tukey went on Misery Loves Company, and uh, it was perfect timing because they had this weirdo on there who had a puppet, and she was trying to do uh, ventriloquism, and she was singing and stuff like that. And somehow Tukey actually knew her. You guys had worked together or something? Yes, oh, we worked man. together. What the fuck the <laughs> What are the chances of that? <laughs> yeah, it's very funny. I, I don't even think she knows who Tukey is. We actually did talk a couple of days ago, and uh, I kind of said, hey, I'm kind of, you know, Sorry you were on the show that day. If it wasn't you, it would have been Ray. And then, yeah, I told her who I was. And she was like, oh, yeah, I kind of remember you. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's so funny. Carl's Frosted Tips now has its own YouTube account. Yeah. Tukey rules, Carl drools. Let's go, Brandon. Yay. Morocco Mole, $5. Has John ever mentioned what grade he was subbing for? Um, Yes, I believe it was sixth grade. Sixth or seventh. It was somewhere in the, some middle school. What not chaser two bucks? How can I reach these kids? How can I reach these kids? <laughs> so when I I came with this idea that I would put them in the front row. Wow, yeah. <laughs> brilliant! And whoever gets the highest mark, I will take them out for a chicken dinner, just like Michelle Pfeiffer did to that little uh, Latino boy. Been spending most our lives living in a drunken paradise. Hold on. Duke, you don't watch movies. Have you actually seen that movie? Of course I've seen Dangerous Minds. Really? I'll you have haven't a seen Star Wars. A whole one? But no, I have not seen Star Battles or whatever. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Michael P., my, my buddy in uh, Buffalo. Question number 21, bonus. Please explain Newton's third law of motion. Go Bills. <laughs> yeah, that probably was the bonus question on there. Well, for every action, there's a negative thing that happens because, like, you go like this, and then I go like that, and there's a YouTube strike involved. Perfect perfect answer. This what? kid's really paying attention. What must goes up must go down or something or other, whatever. You know the thing. Edward Murphy says, I don't condone his dad hitting him, but I understand. That old Chris Rock bit. I like it. Trevor zero 20 bucks. Thank you, Trevor. John, please stop calling our children. <laughs> you got, I, I can imagine the principal being like, John, are you calling the kids' parents every time they get an A? You, you can't do that. No. You're you harassing these poor people. Right? <laughs> yeah. You know you're a substitute. Just subbing. But I wrote those <laughs> questions myself. He's like changing the classroom around. <laughs> <laughs> like, what the fuck does he think he is? Gardner fat two bucks. He's the goat because he smells and eats garbage. Yes. Drunk engineer, two bucks. I haven't seen acting this bad since one too many. That is a bad movie. Damn it. Don, two bucks. Somber skull, Tukey. I can barely drink my beer now. <laughs> skull. I, I have the somber skull. 
Oh, yeah. Come on, here, here, here it is. Skull. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Saddest skull ever. Skull. Cheers. Skull. Uh, Gardner Fat Two Bucks. When I need to cry, I think hemorrhoids. A method. Yeah. Just help me pinching his hemorrhoids. It's going, oh, oh. those kids. The kids. Jay Loiterer, 20 bucks. John and or his agents docs Tukey's name, address, and social security number on Saturday's Bedabbler show. It's criminal what John is doing, in my opinion. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That was so fucking weird. The last four of your social security number are the same as uh, our buddy's phone number there. Isn't it crazy? Dude, that's a one in 10,000 chance. Yes, it's almost like it's not believable at all. <laughs> yeah, it's almost like too coincidental <laughs> to be possibly true. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Vince the Warriors, <laughs> the final four of his phone number, the final four of Tukey's. Mm-hmm. Crazy. How do you so, do that? <laughs> I don't know. He's he's not the greatest troll in the world, Cardiff is, which I'll explain later. But uh, he is definitely a troll. He's a Gonzo. Big- Thank you, Gonzo. Remember for four months. My theory is some chick or that really or that reality show producer is watching and he wants to portray himself as a heroic figure. SJ is always one step ahead. Ah, yes. He's Maybe. showing off the range. Yeah, well, it's weird because in the beginning of the week, wasn't he bragging about I'm the villain and everybody wants me to be the villain and whatever. And now he's like, I'm the victim. Everyone's picking on me. I hate it. I'm the villain. Yeah, it doesn't hey. it doesn't work. You can't be both. No. Right, you can't be both. And please, please, please get this reality show off the ground because you're just going to make the rest of us really really fucking popular, John. So please, do your reality show. No, I'm I'm definitely looking forward to that. Penis wrinkle, my boy. 5 bucks. John paints himself like he's Robin Williams in Dead Poet Society. How do I reach these kids? Yes, I know. It's it's ridiculous. John finally has a real job. And he acts like it's the greatest accomplishment in the world. Like, no, we all have real jobs. I mean, I don't. Or that he's most the greatest teacher do. in the world. There's <laughs> yeah. many, many great teachers. He's more like Robin R- Williams and Mrs. Doubtfire. Having <laughs> to be a kid. Speaking of which, DJ Q for 20 bucks says, Knight is more of a man than John. Oh. It's uh, it's night and day. It is. It's like night and day with those two. <laughs> it's like night, night and day. And day. Edward Murphy, I knew this clown was in my kids' classroom. I take them out and homeschool. Yuck, yuck, dude. I, I don't know if I'm imagine? supposed to say this or not. I don't know if I'm supposed to say this or not. Oh, then you should definitely say it. I should definitely say it. There is someone in the Dabbleverse whose kid was in John's school district, and he did pull his kid out for that reason, and he let the school know. Oh, wow! <laughs> wow, it's fucking nuts, isn't it? I mean, the devil versus we can, far and wide. We can point at a lot of different people and reasons why John was let go from the school, but uh, that might be one of them. <gasps> Padre coming in. <clears throat> Anytime a kid got an A, I called Uncle Paul Melendez. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Yeah, little Sally's doing really well in the class. I gave her a kiss on a tushy. She was doing. Who's that old guy over there? Uncle Paul, Uncle Paul, with the creepy old guy stare. Uncle Paul, now he's coming over. Anthony, five bucks. (laughs) Y'all (laughs) fucking. Monty with seven dollars. Crying like he helped raise the flag at Iwo Jima. <laughs> yeah, I know. No shit. You would think he did the most heroic thing ever. Oh, my God. If you just heard him describing his job, you'd be like, wow, what do you do for a living? Mm-hmm. Well, I'm a substitute science teacher. Oh. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> John's grandkids that never exist because of obvious reasons. They go, Grandpa, did you teach heroes? Or no, were you a hero teacher? Were you a hero? Yes. And he goes, no, but I taught a monk's side. Heroes, or whatever that band of brothers. Yeah, the UBI is too much humility, right? Humility is a word that's never used in the same sentence with Sonnery John. Doesn't understand that at all. Uh, Rocco or B, 2002. SJ is the the water boy from the 90s Dallas Cowboys who thinks he's as important as Aikman, Irvin, or Smith. Yeah, he's got the rig. He's got the rig to prove it. Mason in Portland, two bucks. John is a worse sub than Jack Black in School of Rock. <laughs> I thought Jack Black did a good job in that. Kurt of Electric, no invite. How dare you, sir? You know you got an invite to this. 
Uh, Don says, St. John the Fat Its. What did I miss there? Fat Its? Fat, fat Its. It's? <laughs> I guess that's what it is. Lawyer's got some money. Greta's spicy meat burrito, <laughs> TWO. Oh, well, now you're just being mean. Two, 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 two key world order. T W O. Nick, 10 bucks. I never wanted to talk to any of you, but I have to tell Tukes his verse in that Christmas song made me LOL. Yes, Tukey, thank you. Was that Mr. Magenta that you uh, collaborated with? Oh, no, uh, Tony Muskrat. Tony Muskrat, I'm sorry, mm-hmm. yes. That was fantastic. Yeah, I didn't know what he was talking about for a second, but yes, we did a, a John parody to the uh, Mr. Hanky song. It was fantastic. Oh my gosh, it, it was really one was. The, one of the best songs we've had on Who Are These Podcasts. Thank you. Morocco Mole, five bucks. John's cats are avoiding him like the plague. I would avoid stuttering John like the plague. Babbling Bill, five bucks. I can't believe the depths of stupidity that Senator John goes to. Well, believe it. It's real. Chris Popke, $2. Will Jen cut you off? You tell her she sings flat. How dare you, Chrissy? How dare you? I got your back. Don't worry. Thanks. Perfect pitch. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like an angel. Did Dr. Steve just give me two fucking dollars? Yes. <laughs> I love the new artwork, Tukey. You want to read the rest of that? Wow! Thank you for my new uh, pop canvas, uh, Tukey Art, Dr. Steve. It just came today. It's fantastic. I love it. Thank you, Dr. Oh, Steve. You that's so why he gave his... He was patting himself on the back. I see why mm-hmm. he gave two bucks on that one. Fantastic. Rhino Melendez. SJ thinking he's a hero. Might be worse than SJ. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Might be the worst SJ. Yes. I know what you mean. Because I, I liked Phil Elmore's take on this. He's like, there's different versions of Stuttering John. Yeah. Horny Stuttering John is one of the worst versions. Well, it's the most repugnant It's one. really off-putting. But I yes, like Hero it, John is, is pretty bad, too. Dr. Steve, five bucks. Huh. April Bruckner graduated from the Tisch School of the Arts, even. I thought you sent me a thing that said she graduated from NYU, Dr. Steve. <laughs> This is also confusing. <laughs> Vince the lawyer, Carl, ever see an Anaconda drive in Colorado? Call me. <laughs> I, I'll be able to text him. Call me. People love that. Clyde, $5. Cats can see into the paranormal realm. They can see the legion of demons living in John. In order to save the kitties, John needs an exorcism stat. That might be true. Mm. Mm-hmm. I don't believe in a lot of this stuff, but that one might be true. Seth Martin, five bucks. I was walking home from school the, uh, that afternoon. That same kid was trapped in a well. I saved his <laughs> life. <laughs> John's mom, I need to evict a squatter. Any advice? <laughs> oh, no. Tony Muskrat, John borrowed Adam Sandler's NYU account for the photos they exchanged for. You know, that's very funny. John posting himself in his graduation count. Did he? Yeah, to prove that he graduated from NYU. Anybody can get one of those, though. <laughs> Why did you just show us the diploma? Show us your degree. Well, it's it's in a box, and I don't know which box. It's, I hate moving. I sit on the box. I can't get off the box. <laughs> Felile Bradley. Uh, why doesn't John do cameos? That would be easier way to hustle for some cash than $2 Super Chats. Didn't he, he used to? to? I thought he did. He used to. Mm-hmm. Sweet. More WATP. Agreed, Simon. All right. We're almost to the end of this, and then we'll move on. Uh, Edward Murphy, in a Batman voice, I'm the teacher they need but don't deserve. Mm-hmm. Dookie, can you do? I need to do Gary Del Bate. Can you do uh, Batman? Uh, version. You know, just be like El Haribo. I probably did. Yeah. <laughs> I am the teacher they need, but they don't deserve. It's very whispery. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm, the, I'm the Batman. I'm the drunk. I'm the, I'm the drunk and dabbler goat. I'm the drunk who's late for class. I'm the drunk. They can't do anything without me, except for those eight months when they did stuff without me. But they can't do anything without me. Our Murray comes in. Grandkids won't exist for obvious reason. Two key world order. We just talk about wanting to meet his grandkids someday. It's just like, well, I got a one in three chance, I guess. Yeah, Gone, two bucks. You can't scoop your ovaries out with a melon baller and then expect <laughs> to have kids. Come on. I want to breastfeed, Bobby. Yeah, well, you're SOL. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> Down for two bucks for the 1800 fake watchers 
compete with MLC. Yes, thank you. We have almost 1,900 people watching us live. I'm going to do a shuli. Thank you to the 1,900 people watching us live right now. It's incredible. I really do appreciate it. Zachary Hoffman, two bucks. Carl, big win last night. You're the man, Tukey. Thank you. Yeah, you know, Gino messaged me. He's like, what are your thoughts on the Bills win? I said, honestly, it makes me more upset that they lost to Philly. Because mm-hmm. that loss to that was something. I don't know how they lost that game. And if they had beat Philly and then Kansas City and they have Dallas next week, they could be the team to beat going into the playoffs. Anyway. The I'm fix over. is in. <laughs> I'm over Gam- it. Gambling did exactly what everyone thought it would do to football. The fix yes. is in. There have been some insane calls and non calls this year. I have Agreed. stopped. I didn't even watch football uh, last week because it, it has become a joke. Gambling has ruined football. I 100% agree with you on that. I think that's real. Some stupid asshole, two bucks. John is crumbling before our eyes, and it's glorious. Mm-hmm. Uh, you want to read this one for us? Aku Mugen? Mugen? Aku Mugen? Idea for stuttering John Doc. First season has him painted like the holy man he thinks he is. Second season is where they play best of Dabbleverse to show reality. That's a funny idea. Mm-hmm. Yes. Well, that's the thing. He thinks if someone does a reality show, they're going to do like this keeping up with the Kardashians. Like he's like an influencer and all this shit. He doesn't realize it's going to be a reality show about this is stuttering John Melendez. He used to be on the Howard Stern show. And then he was on the Jay Leno show. He used to have this giant house. And now he's picking his nose on a live stream. <laughs> I've never said this before, but shut the fuck up, Dookie. <laughs> fuck is wrong with you oh, yeah wait no john you want to do a very positive show about how wonderful you are maybe it's a show about substitute teachers it's a celebration Stupid. of john's life dr steve 20 dollars. oh i'm glad we got this wrong so i can get an extra 20 bucks out of dr steve that is nyu tish school Uh-oh. of the arts equals bfa from nyu it's where sj attended as well also, 4Q for calling me cheap. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I've, I've never done that before. Complained about what someone donated as a super chat. And it's to the nicest man. There and is. it worked. Maybe I should do that more often. Thanks, Dr. Steve. You've taught me nothing. <laughs> I've learned no lessons today. No more shoeies equals world peace. Two bucks. SJ the sub helped mold my son into the lady he is today. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, God damn. I love the super chats funnier than us. Michael P., my boy in Buffalo again. Tukey, can you still smell the grandma farts around the holidays? Hack a yep. hack a go, Bills. Always. I miss you, Nana. No. But your farts linger on. <laughs> we <laughs> really brought the show to a halt with that one, sir. Uh, Hudson Margera says the stuttering buffoon docks Phil Elmore's address on his last show. Yeah, no, he's doxing everyone all the time. Yo, 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 it's Big White. I heart Tukey super chat show. Yo, 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 big white. What's up, big white? Good to see you. Thanks for coming by. White out. Okay. Now, gosh, that took longer than I expected. I apologize. Mm-hmm. Let's bring on our special guest. Um, special guest, you are on the show. What name are you going by today? Tim Dransky. Tim Dransky. I've heard of that guy. Tim, thank you so much for coming yeah. on the show. I know you've been messaging me. Thanks for having me. We've, we've been talking back and forth, and uh, I'm very interested to know what you want to talk about. You have some revelations here for us today. All right. So you've been showing, you've been showing John's most recent masterpiece, but what, what you haven't gotten to yet that I'm assuming you will is leading into his award-winning performance as substitute teacher was his complete rage at, Cardiff and Tukey and you and everybody else that led into his emotional breakdown. Yes. All right. So I have, I have spent a lot of time trolling John through various accounts and I have had a lot of interaction with him. Okay. He's, he's, he is beyond crazy. He's crazier than what you guys think. Okay. But this time I got his attention by telling him I had some information on Cardiff and on muttering Jay. So with Cardiff, awesome. with Cardiff's knowledge, okay. So, I have I have friends too, you know. And this is the thing I love about John. As soon as someone says him information that he wants to believe, he believes it. That's yeah. why I thought that Cardiff was Patrick Lewinsky from that <laughs> yeah. time. And so did Chan Zuma because they're both fucking morons. And Cardiff is one of the world's greatest trolls. So he sets all of this up. 
Yeah. So he sends out this information, and then guys like Chad and John go, you know, people think everyone's against me. I have people in my corner, too, you know. It's like, no, no, those are, those are also people fucking with you, idiot. And I believe that's who we're talking to right now. Yes. So I told John the name. I made up the name. Tim Dransky is an anagram for my trans kid. Okay? <laughs> 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 No, dude, no fucking way. (laughs) That's that's amazing that that's and John is so proud of knowing that name. He loves saying it. Timothy D. Hamilton. He loves saying it over and over again. So you came up with that. Yes. So I gave him that name, knowing that it's a made up name. There is no Timothy Dransky. You can't find it anywhere. So there would be no way anyone else would have given him that name. So he immediately goes on. He immediately goes on to a show and he's like, I've had Cardiff. I've had your name for a long time. A lot of people have given it to me. Like once I told him it was because I told him that I was going to be sending Cardiff a package. Right. So I had John had to wait till I pulled my prank on Cardiff. And then I would let John expose Cardiff. So I give him the information. The other day, he's like losing his mind on the show. So I tell him, you can go ahead and you can go ahead and say his name. So he starts saying the name and he's saying a lot of people have given this to me. I've had it for ages. He had had it for like a week. Now, the crazy thing (laughs) is, you're saying he's a liar. He's a liar. Well, here's the crazy part. Here's the crazy part. When you know, like when you know the truth and you watch John talk, you realize like whatever degree people think. To whatever degree people think he's a liar, it's a thousand times worse. Mm-hmm. Like you, it's, it's crazy. So I tell him. I'll just tell you real quick, Tim. That happens to me quite a bit because I know things that we don't talk about on the show. Yeah. And I watch John talk about those things. I'm like, oh, you're lying. <laughs> you're a fucking moron. It's incredible. So, so John begins to grill me as to how I have this information. I told him a very believable story about being involved in counterintelligence in the military. Um, I, you know, I have all, the, by the way, Carl, I have all the receipts. I started sending them to you, but it was just too much, but I can after if you want me to. So, I actually, I have those messages. If you want me to pull them up, I can, I, I saved them right before the show. Yeah. It's, it's totally up to you. I mean, it doesn't really matter. The accounts are all whatever, but. Oh shit. So, look at who's here. It's, it's Timothy himself. This guy's Timothy a fucking himself. liar. <laughs> <laughs> so so Carter. I kept Cardiff in the loop the whole time. It was what was happening. Um, so, uh, if you notice, Carl, if you notice, if you notice, the name Frank Bowden is there too. Yep. Now, Frank Bowden is a name that I gave him for muttering J. Now, I'm an idiot. That's supposed to be an anagram for drunk buffoon, but I. It, <laughs> I didn't know how to spell buffoon, apparently. Uh, That's funny. Yeah. What, is Rocco, what is Rocco Burrow an anagram for? <laughs> Handsome young Italian man. Well, thank you. <laughs> so, so I give John that information. He's so excited. He's like, I finally, he's like, everything is turning. He's like, I can't believe what a good friend you are. He, he's like, that is so this lonely. Is unbelievable. It's, it's bananas. Right? So, so he's like he, messaging me every day, just like, when are you, you know, when are you going to find out where, when are you going to find out like where Muttering Jay lives? And I, so I give him this name, Frank Bowden. It turns out there is a Frank Bowden. He's like a young Asian kid getting a, a PhD somewhere. And I'm, John's like trying to explain it. So he, found him. He, call, he messages me one morning and he says, there's like a big problem. Cardiff mentioned December 21st in a tweet. That's the day I get paid from YouTube. Now, this is the morning of the show where he has the meltdown. Okay. Now, I message Cardiff and I'm like, what's December 21st? He's like, that's the deadline for, for Tukey to follow, file his response, right? So right. I, but John thinks <laughs> Cardiff is planning a cyber attack. So, or he, he, he doesn't know what it is, but he thinks he's planning something on the day that John's going to get paid. So I said to John, I'm like, John, my people have found some chatter to suggest that Cardiff is going to be redirecting your funds 
from your bank account to a bank account of his choosing using <laughs> malware. Okay. <laughs> That's where he came up with that shit. Can, all right, can, I, stop, can I stop you real quick? Yeah, yeah, of course. I have the clips. I want to play these to put some context to this. Wait, wait, Carl, before you do, yeah, I want ahead, you to notice he repeats what I told him word for he goes, he goes, he's going to do it to his bank account or a bank account of his choosing. Like he's giving a parrot. It's done. <laughs> Choose mine. Use my bank account. Yeah, say, I'll give you my routing number right now, Cardiff. Yeah, come on, use mine. Holy shit. He's the dumbest man alive. Well, right now, if you're listening, I'm showing up on the screen, John going on his doxing spree on Twitter, where he's writing out all of these names, and he says, you fucked with the wrong guy, SJWO in full effect. He's acting like he's he's on his victory lap right here. And now we're finding out just took like one guy to message him and tell him all this shit. He just believed it like a moron. You have no idea what's coming. <laughs> oh hey, my Tukey. God. <laughs> yes, yes, Tim. Tuki, the, the text, I mean, the tweet about the Von Erichs, that mm -hmm. was from me. Uh, that was from me when I was deep undercover. You don't need to worry about ending up like the Von Erichs. You're, you're safe. <laughs> did they all commit suicide? Yes. John thought I was going to commit suicide because of him. <laughs> All right, let me play this real quick and then we'll get back. This is unbelievable information. So now Timothy has decided to threaten me. My computer was hacked. Make no mistake. I couldn't get on Wikipedia. I couldn't get on Reddit. Could you imagine hacking a computer and just being like, we can't go on these two websites? <laughs> Block, block, Wikipedia. What was the other one? Reddit. Yeah, it's probably just a faulty Google Chrome. Would be my guess. <laughs> my Google is broken. Oh no, he gets into that. By the way, we have over two thousand people watching right now. So maybe Thank it was a faulty Google much. Chrome. Sorry, I'm still on the drops. <laughs> Thanks, Cardiff. All right. Everything was going wrong. Anywhere I went, it was hacked, and I'm pretty sure that Timothy. Hacked my Google. Yeah. Hacked my Google. Hacked oh, my Google. Can, can I remind, can I just, maybe this is the great time for this drop. I'm becoming the drop king. They're calling me yes. the drop king on the internet I these agree. days. It's hard to put one over on me. Wow. wow. I got you beat with my drop here. Shut the fuck up, asswipe, and suck my cock. All right. This is, um, so after John explained that Cardiff hacked his computer, and he, he hacked his uh, Google, whatever that means. It's full John, of N words. Stop talking about computers. You don't know anything you're talking about. He's like a fucking moron. <laughs> Doesn't he also famously have like the oldest computer? He's been talking about getting a new one forever, so maybe it's just his old computer. Oh, it's a, a brand new, it's, it's like a new MacBook. He's got a shitty computer. It's the one Heather W bought him. He's like, no, I have new computers since that. No, you don't, you poor loser. Anyway, this is uh, John explaining what we were just talking about. Hey, Spectre. <laughs> Thanks for the 20. What a great way to spend a Saturday afternoon evening after work. Captain Content, then he's skull, John. Hey, Spectre, how are you going to feel when Timothy Cardiff Electric steals this money that all you guys are donating to me? Oh, no. How are you going to feel about Cardiff Electric when he is alleging to fucking redirect my payment? which is quite substantial, to another bank account. Back up. How are you going to feel about that? How are you going to feel about the potato then? Dum, 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 dum. <laughs> does, does, all right. You guys all have uh, YouTube accounts. Do you yes. know how difficult it would be to set up a different bank account in YouTube? I mean, it would take months to get that even fucking approved. Yeah, I don't know what you had to do, but in Minnesota, they had to yeah. mail me a code. <laughs> Yes. That I had to go, like, I had to wait three weeks for a code to show up in the mail. I had to open it up, the secure envelope, enter the code in the website, then wait another two weeks. But yeah, Cardiff Electric <laughs> just clicked a couple buttons, and all of a sudden I've redirected the fractions of a penny from all of John's <laughs> transactions into my oh, account. God. And he still never or talked about suing choosing. you. Account of my choosing, yes. And he still never <laughs> talked about suing you, but he wants to sue Tuki. For playing right. a video that was online and that we joked he's, about the whole time. He's talking about a felony. Right. He's like hacking into someone's computer and stealing their money. This is a felony to do yeah. that. And yeah, then he's just like, yeah, he's going to commit a felony, but I'm really mad at Tukey 
Because he played that video. Yeah. What? He's going to take Tukey to court, but yeah. he's like, I'm not happy with what Cardiff or Timothy did. Well, just like you doxed him because you gave the information to the guy that doxed him. <laughs> yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He, still, he still claims I doxed his address. I didn't. All I said is we live close to each other in Cape Coral in a private text message to Vince the lawyer who put it up on Reddit. Yeah, but then John put his own house up with yes. his address on he it. He doxed himself into that. Because he was so proud of his shitty fucking house that he had to show all the Zillow photos. Hey, don't call that house shitty. <sighs> we're going to own it. <laughs> That's what we're going for, Carl. We'll be neighbors, too, Key. Well, put a pool in. Yeah, the, no, <laughs> you can come over to our house for the pool. It's fine. Yeah, we're going to rename uh, Cape Coral Dabbleville. <sighs> I'm not going to walk 1.3 miles. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, but they're going to have um, like gas stations and stuff by Carl's house. It's going to be fantastic. Uh, Tim, yes. what else? Uh, oh, is there anything me. else? I mean, this, is, this has been unbelievably, <laughs> these revelations. Fucking hilarious. Okay. So, so I told John that my investigation had found, you know, Cardiff was going to be using malware to redirect funds to an account of his choosing. Yeah. And I told John the way that he would know when this is happening, if he experiences his computer running slowly or if the internet is slow, that's because the computer is in the process of redirecting funds. Oh, no. And so I told John, <laughs> he would, he would, I told him he'd need to immediately turn off and destroy his computer because that would be the only way to stop the process. Oh no! And so, and so you have to go the like Hillary Clinton a, route and just destroy yeah. everything. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, like this is—he he was it's having a, a complete meltdown over it. <laughs> yeah, and there you go. What did he say? So he's saying if you notice anything slowing down, like you're under attack. <laughs> it starts to happen. It can signal the start of the attack. If you notice that the attack is starting, you want to shut down the computer immediately. That will stop his access. Your best defense would be to get a new computer, although he might be able to infect the new computer as well, depending on how he got in the first time. Uh, All right, now, now this is where... (laughs) You want your address. You have made my life so much better in the Dabbleverse. I am so grateful. What? <laughs> Fuck! Oh my you God. Still be going until you got the Christmas gift. I want to know what John would have given you. Yeah, I know. I know what he would have given his audience. My address. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, oh shit! <laughs> or a photo of your house. Yeah. So, and this is a funny thing too. He was dying for Cardiff's address. Now, obviously, I couldn't give him the address because once he tried to look for it, he's not going to find anything. Mm-hmm. I told him the Cardiff lived in Hamilton because I don't know. You know. I I don't know. Can, it's the closest place in Canada to Rochester. So yeah. I came up with that one. And he's John like kept demanding his address. So I just picked some apartment building because he wouldn't. And he writes back. He's like, well, how am I going to find him? I don't know what apartment he's in. And I was like, what do you need to find him for? Like, there's no need to find him, John. Yeah. You just So, so I, th- I don't know if he posted a picture of the apartment building, but he's like, just die. He just wants Cardiff's address so badly um and same with same. i go john i go did you try googling the name in hamilton ontario and he's like mm-hmm. no i didn't do that it's like i go oh, john mm-hmm. at one point i was texting even i him, did that <laughs> yeah, I know, right? <laughs> at one call at one point on another account i was texting with john like this and back this is when we were talking i told him that i had a i had evidence that you posted his book <laughs> On your Patreon. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Andy. The well-equipped Stuttering John World Order is just you? <laughs> no. Are you? But, please, please tell me you're his lawyer. Please tell me you told him you're a lawyer <laughs> and you're the one who's going to file for him. No. Tukey, listen. I am a lawyer and I'll tell you he's not filing a lawsuit against you. <laughs> I know this. I know this for a fact. He's not filing a lawsuit against you. What? 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 Spoiler alert! Uh, spoiler alert! Don't give it away. I know, I know you're shocked to learn that information. But we had a little chat. That's why he was panicked calling Vince the lawyer because no, I went through yes. with him when he was like, oh, "You and you wouldn't call me back." I went through with him and I'm like, "John, to, here's why you're going to lose that lawsuit." And he does not like that. I've learned that from my other trolling efforts with him. He does not like when you show him a mirror. Yeah, so yeah, this it's time a I had end. To, 
Yes, and at yeah. all times. I didn't do that. But what's what's one of the craziest things? Oh, he also told me he he doesn't anymore. But he goes, I used to have so many stock accounts, I couldn't even keep track of them. And I, I have that tweet I can send you too. Um, oh, please send me that. Yes, <laughs> that's fucking amazing. <laughs> the amazing. Why do you know he's not going to uh, file? Because, okay, so first of all, I no him, I'm like, <laughs> no I, went the, yeah, I, I want his reason. Thing, yeah, no. I went through damages, fair use, all of that stuff. So I go, John, I'm like, I know you know what you're doing. Like, you didn't get this far by being a dummy like they think, but you're going to spend. Not this far. <laughs> I go, you're going to spend fifteen to $20,000, and then you're probably going to end up having to pay Tukey and B. Dabbler's uh, legal bills. Yeah. And he did, he did not. He's like, Myla, <laughs> don't worry about it. I got it. And I go, you're heading down to the courthouse today to file, right? And he's like, well, I might. I, you know, we're still going over a few things. He's like, John, the federal court building isn't going to be open on a Saturday. Um, they they oh. give those people the weekends oh. off. So. He, that there, there is no lawsuit coming. There is a zero percent chance of a lawsuit. Hold, hold on a second. I have to make a, a quick announcement here. Uh oh, retard alert! <laughs> retard alert, class. Well, he says he is filing on Thursday now. I don't know right. why not yeah. tomorrow or Wednesday, but now it's Thursday. Thursday, December forty eighth. He's filing it. <laughs> <laughs> How many months of the year have twenty eight days? Here's the la- here's the last thing I want to tell you guys, and I appreciate you having me on. But this is amazing. No. Talking with j- talking with John, it I, I messaged Cardiff at one point, and I was like, "This fucker better not start making me feel bad for him." He has nobody. He he has nobody who's on his side. At one point, I was talking with him about muttering Jay, and I, I know. Part, Call me part a snowflake. Reason- I am. Part of my reason for doing this was I wanted to show Muttering Jay how you actually do a funny reveal and fuck with John because he fumbled yes. it so bad with his he little did. abortion. He did. He fucked it up so, so bad. So, and I was kind of fucking with his thing when he was trying to do it, and it was such a dud. But at one point when I was talking to John about it. Muttering Jay is watching right now, by the way. <laughs> He's in the chat. Good. But go ahead. Good, Muttering Jay. Go fuck your mother. So I was talking with John about Muttering Jay, and he said to me, he's like, I know he's been horrible to me. I know he said horrible things. But right now, he's saying horrible things about them, not me. Like, how can that be bad? And I'm like, John, because imagine if your daughter saw you, like, chatting with this guy who, who said, like, these awful things. Like, wouldn't that be? And he, he's just like, but I don't have anyone who says good stuff about me. Oh, and I no. just, it was like... I know. If for a minute, like, am I feeling bad for this piece of shit? He became my best friend. Even right now, I messaged him and I said, before I went on, I was like, John, I know you betrayed me. You're about to feel my wrath. And he's like, no, I didn't. And he's like, oh, I knew you were just trolling me. Like, he instantly goes into defense mode. He doesn't have anybody who sticks up for him. I don't think he has anybody who does anything for him other than send him unpaid, you know, O'Doul's deliveries. Um, but it's kind of it's kind of sad. But then I remember that at one point really when he wanted an address from me, I told him I was at a funeral, and he's like, "Well, what time can you get it to me?" Not wow. like, "Oh, sorry." <laughs> okay, <laughs> I mean, thank you. Because again, I was feeling bad for a second, and then you remember what a piece of shit this asshole is. He's the worst yeah. person. There's a reason why he has no friends. There's a reason why he has nothing. Because he's an asshole, ungrateful asshole. Tim. Yeah. He. Yep. Will you marry me? <laughs> oh, Tukey. I love you. Tukey, oh, listen, no. Tukey, I'm going to tell you, and, and and then I understand if you guys need to kick me off, but this has been the best time. Um, Tukey, mm-hmm. you took a little bit of uh, you took a little bit of friendly fire in this thing because I know Vince had already re- released a certain name. Mm-hmm. So when John wanted to, you know, check how good my intel was, he asked, like as a test, he get, he said, "We'll go find out." Rocco's last name, and it was already out there, so I just gave it to him, and he's like, all right, you're legit. This is real. (laughs) (laughs) That's amazing. I give you, uh, uh, Tim, you are amazing. I'm glad you did all that you did, and I love you more than a friend. You can use my last name whenever you want. (laughs) Oh, my gosh. Wendy's going to be so upset that Tukey wants to marry someone else now. (laughs) No. Hold on. I'll be right back. I got to go jerk off. (laughs) (laughs) There there is. 
Cardiff was the mentor in this whole thing. He had all a bunch of good ideas. There, there is one more thing that came out of this. Okay, please. The day uh, our friend Tim messaged me with this with this idea, mm -hmm. uh, a stuttering John on YouTube showed up in my chat, saying, "Hi, Tim." I went back to this Tim and said, "Was this you?" He said, "Nope." I go, have you told anyone else about the Tim idea? He said, nope. But now I know Stuttering John's sock account on YouTube for going into chat. <laughs> That's hilarious. What an idiot. What a fucking his moron. Sock, his sock account is called Stuttering John. Like, it's, it's Stuttering John, like, whatever, was some number. But, Did some so different Cardiff numbers. Goes, yeah, Cardiff goes, was this you? And I go, no. Nope. I go, the whole way this thing works is like, there, it's not a real name, so no one can, no one else can claim they accidentally gave it to him. And you can see, like, I took all the, uh, all the receipts for when he first said the name after I gave it to him. It's like right away, as soon as I gave it to him, he started posting it. So there's no, I tried to do this so that there's no way he can backpedal. The only thing he's going to be able to do is say, "I knew he was lying all along," which looks a little silly, given that he like just swallowed this thing whole. Yes. Um, Correct. Oh, wow. So, so he has a stuttering John sock account on YouTube, so that he can point <laughs> to the trolls with fake stuttering John accounts saying nasty shit. Remember in Uncle Rico's chat, yep. there was stuff going on probably in your chat. He's hiding oh, in plain sight. Hiding in plain sight. Yeah. You learned this from Ford all that Alex Jones watching. He does. He's back. <laughs> Holy shit, Tim! I don't know how to thank you for this. This is unbelievable. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, I told I told Cardiff that I wanted to have, I you know it would have been funny if if we had had a little bit more time to coordinate, but I, I just I knew you were going to do this show, and it I wanted to. This was all the day, like all this stuff got released, and then I turned it into a show that night, and he's on there crying, talking about calling people's pet. I'm like, I think I broke this guy. And the weirdest part of this whole thing was, as I'm watching that show, I go into the other room, and my wife, who's not involved in any of this stuff. I try to tell her like what I've done and I'm watching her face. And as I'm saying it, I realize I'm like, I'm basically Jeffrey Dahmer who hasn't killed anyone. Like I'm the psychopath. Cause she was looking at me like, is this what you're doing with your time in your life? I was like, yeah, I'm in too deep. Like, so it, it, it's, a, it's a lot, but it's and, and fun. Tim's been, Tim's been exploding for the past few days. He's just wanting to let this out. <laughs> This oh is what he, yeah. he, he, he can't handle the long game like some people can, but I, I, I appreciate your, you're new to this, Tim. You'll get no, I know. Well, <laughs> the problem is, the problem is like right now, all this is happening in five minutes. John sees another retarded butterfly and he'll be like, I know Cardiff's name is Alexander. What else? Like he'll be onto something else and then it doesn't make sense. So you're right. I'm a little, I'm a little impatient, but I felt like this was a knockout punch a little bit. So. Well, there's one thing I'll get that, I'll get that Muttering J, J, a.k.a. Vince the Warrior, has proven, mm -hmm. and that's how easy it is to get on John's good side by just being his friend. The way you be his friend is to hate his enemies. Mm -hmm. So as soon as you go on there and you go, yeah, Shuli sucks, and I don't like Carl, and Cardiff's a shitty potato, mm -hmm. now he's friends with you. It's that easy you to manipulate friend. him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Fantastic. Wow. Tim, oh. brilliant. Brilliant work, my friend. Thank you for coming on this program to reveal all of that. Thank you, guys. I feel honored. The show's awesome. Love your work. <laughs> Thank you, buddy. Thank Thanks. you so right. much. Wow. Thank you, Tim. Man. You got it, Tuki. Love you, right. friend. Puppet master. Oh. Uh, Tim, I, by the way, I want yeah. to thank you for all the work you did. So I'm going to send you a Christmas present. Just give me your address. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 I, I'm right. in uh, Hamilton, Ontario. All right. I can drive it to you then. So I will see you at your apartment then. Hey, wait, wait, wait. One, one last thing. Listen, the Frank Bowden who goes, to, who's in Northwestern getting his PhD, the young Asian guy, he's, he's not actually muttering Jay. So I can only imagine the confusion of that poor lad and his Asian family if oh, he dear. starts getting uh, an influx of hate and correspondence. I guess you got to do more research before you start throwing names around. <laughs> Holy shit. Wow. All right. Thanks, Tim. Oh uh, yes, you got it. See you, buddy. Don't be a stranger. Wow. Holy shit. Oh. Take a second. <laughs> what have you created, second. Carl? <laughs> when you a year ago, when you sent me out there to troll John, did you think it was going to lead what? to this? That's not true. <laughs> <laughs> that, that is not true. Go fuck yourself, potato. <laughs>
all right, here's the deal. You're going to come up with a potato filter. <laughs> You're going to pretend you like Sunnery John. And then... turn, turn the camera around. Show the board. <laughs> yeah, Show right, the board. Exactly. All the all lines. Yeah. Like step eight. <laughs> Tim gave me an idea, though. We need a wives of the Dabbleverse show. All yes. the wives no. that can explain. No. <laughs> yeah, I would love that. Either. No, my, my husband's the craziest person. No, 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 no. My husband is a lunatic. No, no, no. That conversation was happening in Detroit a little bit. Yes, it was. <laughs> For sure. Um, so, all right. You came up with the Timothy name, Cardiff? No, no. Oh, this, he, Tim he brought, Tim brought this to me, and okay. I kind of guided, <laughs> I gently guided him down a few paths. Unbelievable. An anagram. Wow. wow. John is fucking stupid. And again, getting back to his show where he's all teared up. Oh. This is where he's talking about changing children's lives. This is a substitute teacher. Now, I'll give him credit. It wasn't just like two days. It wasn't like, you know, someone had COVID or something. This was long-term substitute okay. teaching. But imagine if this guy actually had a real class and was a real teacher, which he claimed he was going to do. Not that long ago. It was a few months ago. He was going to become a full-time I feel like he still should and teacher. get off the internet. Well, yeah, he should because he's so amazing <laughs> with the students. On Teacher Appreciation Day. <laughs> I didn't even know it was that. Oh, did he do Ooh, that again? To my class. Yeah. What? Remember he when he was tweeting all of those cards that he got from the students? No, but he did that before when he got bad news on, on uh, the anniversary of his father's death. And he goes, on that day of all days, you did this to me. Oh, like he, well, right. He also got um, the child support thing on his birthday right oh god and the the serious lawsuit yeah that's right the serious him. lawsuit yeah on his birthday oh. and i think he got general warts on easter of 87. <laughs> <laughs> i think that's true dookie <laughs> that's right here i don't Can't know, know me. <laughs> Fucking dope. gives me get back with the wonderful card maybe it's noga's bothering him in and out burger what? Tell me how it changes his life. There's a gift card to In and Out Burger. I know. <laughs> God. Then why aren't you teaching anymore, John? If you change children's lives, why did you go back online and talk shit about everyone and threaten people and say you're going to pistol whip Anthony Cumia? All these things that were definitely going to get you fired from your job. You're doing all these amazing things. You just abandoned those children that needed you. The world's yeah. most involved substitute teacher. He calls out Shuli for not going back to Israel to fight the war. Oh. <laughs> this guy couldn't couldn't even stick around in the school district where he's making this huge difference. Look, I literally stapled the dress of one of my substitute teachers to the board. Okay, so <laughs> there's yeah, I know. there's not a lot of respect for substitute teachers out there. No, I'm never, sorry. Never. Okay, so John goes off on this whole rant about how amazing he was and i'm i'm lost like what are we talking about what are we trying to prove again i forgot so then john brings it back around here i choose to be a good person i choose to help people <laughs> and what you guys have done to me is awful he's a vigilante for retarded kids you could do the audio where 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 i don't care wah. this is real I mean, if you were really crying, I'm maybe. Real dumb. <laughs> John is keeping Chris it Rock. real right now. Mm -hmm. Unbelievable. So I, I thought you were going to play that victim. other Chris Rock clip you usually play. <laughs> <laughs> nope. So he's he's the victim yeah. on this one. Now, as you were saying, you stapled your substitute teacher's uh, dresses <laughs> to the yes, wall. Yes, I did. <laughs> well, for John, it was very different. The Mom. students all celebrated him. <laughs> monster i don't know other kids would write on the blackboard mr mind is your favorite you're what you're our favorite i think you're cool <laughs> homer simpson sandra that was mean it's giving me gifts and all the gifts sorry cards. can you pause it again target <laughs> i also wrote something on the blackboard once of one of my substitute one of my substitute teachers Parents. and it involved her blowing goats <laughs> <So> <laughs> Oh, 
<laughs> oh, he's unbelievable. Oh. I love the fact that he talked about how he was being brought out of the class on the children's shoulders. They're cheering for him. <laughs> Mr. Melendez, Mr. Melendez. Look at Drunken Rudy. They carried him to, their, to, to his car like Hulk Hogan guys gets carried into WrestleMania. <laughs> Chariots. On the blackboard. I appreciate it, but I shouldn't be favorite. driving right now. You're, you're our favorite. After I think report. you're cool, Homer Simpson. Sandra, that was mean. Kids give me gifts and all the gift cards to like Target. What? Oh, Target. Buy a vacuum. You accepted these, things from these kids? Parents. Starbucks. <laughs> Starbucks. Notes. He's listing the gift cards that he got. No Pickwick or 7 Eleven? <laughs> if these kids knew him, that's where they would get him gift cards for. Uh, Timmy, uh, there's only $5 on this Target gift card. Johnny gave me $17. <laughs> yeah. What's wrong with you? I saw you give another teacher $10. <laughs> Am I going to have to call your mom? How come Mr. Brennan is walking around with a $15 gift card and I got a $5 gift card? Is is that why he was calling so many parents who he gave A's to to see if he could get a get a taste? Yes. This is why he was You know, they, about, you don't pay us a lot of substitute uh, teachers, you know, Mrs. Anderson. I, I heard you're very successful in your business. I think you should uh, break off a piece for me. Who knew substitute teaching was so lucrative? Yeah. Well, John oh, found a way. Yeah. I've never given him have a sponsor. He probably wrote up on the right? on the whiteboard, you know, casino.com or something. Sponsored by Course Might. Hey, if you kids are gonna go gamble, use my uh promo code and you'll get a 50% extra deposit. CLNS. Your CLNS. first assignment, log on to Twitter, create a username that has nothing to do with stuttering John. Everybody go now. And defend me. All right. You guys ready to feel bad about ourselves again? Yeah. We've done a lot of bad things, and this poor man is just trying to help. One of my kids. Ah, this is going to make me explode here. Are you right? One of my kids who was in a wheelchair. Oh, no. Little Timmy. And she wasn't until I drove to school one day. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> <laughs> and what did you guys do? What? You called my school district and got me fired twice. Well, you got yeah. try to get me fired twice. You succeeded. You succeeded once. All right. Now, that first your... off, no one was calling a school district. I mean, muttering Jay was certainly tweeting at them. But Jen, you did this to yourself. It's no one else's fault if you lost your job. This is all on you. The only reason why you would lose your job, and Chad doesn't understand this either. He thinks he just call people's employers and get them fired. Right. They, there has to be a reason for them to fire them. Just some lunatic on the internet doesn't like you, can't get you fired from your job. Right. That is true. But that's why I said now he's tagging his uh, army of mutants, like the LGBTQ community. He's yeah. running out of allies, just like Tim said. He has no one. So now he's looking for allies anywhere. So he's just like, hey, bunch of strangers who I don't know, come defend me. I, I love the idea that he ran over this poor kid's legs. <laughs> <laughs> Who said that? Allegedly. Allegedly. I think Timothy said it. I mean, I mean, uh, Tim. I mean, Tim, thank you. Timmy. <laughs> Cardiff is one of the greatest trolls because mm -hmm. as he's pretending that Timothy is his real name, he's like, no, I actually don't like Timothy. I prefer to be called <laughs> Tim. As if he's so offended. <laughs> so funny <laughs> all right guys let's find out how much we hurt the kids because right so far john's been making this about him this is all our fault right like everything he said so far it's about john poor john woe is me but now we find out who really is the victim here so all you did was hurt the kids i could find another gig then do but all you did was hurt the kids to have a teacher that cares. So according to John, the other teachers don't care. This is the kind of thing that makes enemies. When he goes out, he's just like, I was the only good teacher in this whole school district. <laughs> the other teachers are watching like, what the fuck? You think I don't care? I didn't show up <laughs> drunk and hung over every day. What the fuck is wrong with you? <clears throat> this is one of the craziest things John has ever said right here. When he compares himself to this. 
We all have those teachers that change our lives and help us. We do. Our guardian angels. It's <laughs> cool. John, uh, what? John thinks he's a guardian angel for being a substitute teacher. Holy shit. This is a delusional he's, man. He's lost his mind. Yeah. He's, he wants to run around spot. Central Park in a red beret. <laughs> <laughs> guardian angel. John. Uh, of course, the, the sad skull ISO. Skull. Uh. <laughs> I can't even celebrate with this beer. I'm just going to drink it like a sad person. <laughs> That's cool. And why did this happen, guys? Why did he get fired from his job? Who did this to him? Why did they do it? But you guys said, fuck John. You let your anger, envy, and hatred stop that from me. Envy? Yeah. <laughs> Something I enjoy. Now remember, when oh. Kevin Brennan asked John, why he's doing this and not teaching anymore. John goes, Oh, I'm having too much fun doing this. Why would I go back to teaching when this is so much fun? And now he's trying to play this, trying to change the entire story. Now we're just like, that was the one thing that gave me joy in life. Plus I helped my community and you guys ruined it. What did he say over and over again? The last time about Julie controlling the narrative or changing the narrative. What yes. Was... Yeah. Whatever it was. Yeah. Uh, the Julie. Narrative and it's the right now. The shit wear <laughs> and the false narrative. He kept saying over and over again. This is the false narrative. False narrative. That John yeah. wanted to keep teaching. As soon as he got back online, which he shouldn't have done. He should not. <laughs> this is all backfired on him. As soon as he got back online and created all this content for everyone and threatened everyone and wanted to fight everyone. This is what got him fired. It's not it has nothing to do with what anything anyone else did. Well, it's also perpetuating everything. Yeah. Everything. So now John's going to predict that I'm going to goof on him for uh, crying on his show. He's mm -hmm. a little off on how we're goofing on him, though. And Lady K will goof on me. Y'all call me a cry, baby, and resort to immature. Can you pause it? Yeah. He's almost literally doing the take this tape back to Howard. <laughs> yeah, right. Now you're going to take this tape back to Howard. You're all going to have a laugh, but it's not fun. It's not funny. Oh. Crystal. <laughs> Holy shit. And you guys were talking about on your show. I've talked about this before too. This idea that John wants to silence all of these voices. He's against free speech. He's from the Howard Stern show. That's all they talked about all the time was free speech, the FCC and the Christian coalition was trying to shut him down. It's like, John, you've become everything you hated. What is wrong with you? Yeah. How did all these guys, all these guys from the Stern show, Howard included, like, yeah. How did they totally do a 180 like this. I never thought listening to them back in the 90s, early 2000s or what, that I would be in a litigation with this fucking <laughs> idiot over free speech. Trying to shut you <laughs> up. I know. Right. I mean, I've had, I've had phone conversations with Brent Hatley where he's just like, and this person's doing this and this person tweeted that. It's like, yeah, well, you're putting yourself out there. I don't know yeah. what to tell you. What are you, you going to do? Fight back Bullying. with Bullying. But everything I've said is true. <laughs> oh lord everything you said you thought was true maybe but it definitely was not okay so john says that we're just gonna bully him for being a crybaby well actually i would say that we've had expert analysis some revelations and some humor mixed in along the way <laughs> so wrong again dummy in fact tukey doesn't even think you're crying tukey mm -mm. thinks it's not an act mm -mm. there's no we're, tears jen and i were uh watching this when it was happening and Jen was pointing out, he's like looking up to the lights to get mm -hmm. like his eyes to be watery. It's like an old right. acting, old acting trick. Right. Mm -hmm. You look up right at the light yeah. and then you're like, oh, oh I'm going to tear. <laughs> Staring at the onion hanging above so his head. Sad. <laughs> so sad. All right. This is John getting a, distracted by a text. And this is why his show is the fucking worst show ever. Watch this. <laughs> Watch this. He just stares at his computer. He's reading stuff. He's looking around. He doesn't know what to do. I said this last night on Potato Soup. Isn't this wasn't this your favorite part of the Howard Stern show? Yeah. When Howard, when, when Howard read Howard emails, just, just space out, and stare <laughs> up into space. You mean when Howard used to get text messages from his ex-wife saying, "Hey, where's the child support for this month?" <laughs> and he's like, "Oh shit." Yeah, I love that part. And by the way, the chat over in John's channel has already spoiled the anagram. Yes. Oh, did they? Oh. <laughs> yeah. 
Of course uh, they did. And he's trying to call Vince the lawyer. Now his whole big thing. Oh, John didn't graduate from NYU. <laughs> After all of that. So he obviously got a text message. He writes back with one finger typing on his keyboard. And mm-hmm. then, and now they're trying to say I didn't graduate from NYU. Well, he definitely mm-hmm. didn't take typing. <laughs> yeah, no, no shits. <laughs> but that's also why I'm con- uh, convinced he is not going to do anything. Because if you were really gung-ho about this lawsuit and everything, wouldn't you have gotten it filed right away on Monday yes. morning? If yeah. you're so sure. All right, yeah, Tuki, let's talk about that real quick. And then we will get to the uh, the super chats. I do appreciate everybody coming in with those. But let's talk about what John was tweeting the other day. because. But he's this... more concerned with proving that he graduated college at 60 years old than to actually <laughs> go out and file a lawsuit that he believes he's going to win. Well, speaking of educated John, he says, if Rocco Burrow does not insure me in writing, you mean usher you? Insure me in writing that he won't repost his show that I struck him on. I will file a lawsuit this week. My lawyer is ready. We are all set. All the criteria requested by you two will be fulfilled. Oh, my God. To which Tukey (laughs) responds, what happened to your ironclad lawsuit? Damages! Damages. John was like on his show going, and I've had a lot of damages. I've missed auditions Mm because I'm so upset. He's like trying to (laughs) set the stage for this lawsuit. It's never happened. Oh, man. So then he says, all right, man, all good. No problem. We'll go forward. Just know we are looking at other things that are also strikeable. He's just constantly oh. threatening things. Just mm-hmm. nonstop threat, threat, My threat, lawyers threat. are watching all your shows. How many lawsuits does he want? <laughs> he wants them all. Um, all right. Thank you, painkiller. Yo, yo, yo. Oh, we read that one. Big whites in the house. Appreciate that. I retarded. Hey, Carl. People in glasses shouldn't throw stones. Just figuratively, not a threat. <laughs> People in glasses. <laughs> I get jokes. <laughs> Bully, I heard Carl saying VTL has a spectrum disorder. That's probably true. Manny coming in with two bucks. Thank you very much. Carl's frosty Allegedly, tips. say allegedly. Allegedly. Phew. Bully, I heard Carl say that VTL has a spectrum disorder. Allegedly. <laughs> <laughs> then you can say anything you want. That's how that works. Carol's Frosted Tips, two bucks. I seen better acting on Hunter Biden crack video. That's pretty mm-hmm. funny. Allegedly. 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 <laughs> uh, once you become a public figure, it's amazing what you can say about people. Mm-hmm. It's crazy what you can do. <laughs> Bob Levy for life with 140 bucks. What? Wow, that's that's pretty Canadian. exciting right there. Wow. Yay, Canadian. super chats. <laughs> Listen, I don't... I'm not one of these people who gets upset about Canadian, Australian. I know it's not worth as much as our money, but I appreciate it very much. Here, boys, put this towards fighting the good fight against the stumbling, mumbling buffoon. Thank you very much, Bob Levy, for life. James R., we need Tukey and Cardiff on roundtable this week. What say you? Uh, Friday? I'm... <laughs> yeah, we do it on Fridays. I might be available. You know yeah. what? I might be at the content house at that time. I'll drive down and get to the content house with Chrissy Mayer. There you go. And I'll hop on. Maybe we can do that on the, the stream. Oh, that would be cool. That's the spirit. That'd be fun. We can get uh, Frank Pellegrino, who I do like. He's a good guy. So, so you want an extra 80,000 people to jump into this? <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> to see what's going on over here in our little corner of the internet. I love it. Oh, you're gonna... Exactly. It's going to be funny. Did I say it correctly that time? Correctly. That was fantastic. I practice in the mirror. I don't know if you know that, Tukey. I mean, it takes a lot of effort to say it the way you do. I don't know how hey, you do that. Hey, Tukey. That's you. Oh, oh Wendy. My Wendy. 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 Wendy impression. I have a breaking news. Yes. John will be getting a delivery soon. I don't know um, by who. But in the delivery are Magnum condoms, <laughs> Lunchables pizza with pepperoni Capri Sun and Crunch Lunch combinations, and a six pack of Heineken Premium Malt Lager. Not Heineken yeah. Zero, I hope. No, you had me at Nestle Crunch. No, there's no Nestle Crunch. It's called Lunchables pizza with pepperoni Capri Sun and Crunch Lunch combinations. Whatever that is. I love when uh... I'm eating for dinner tonight. I love when John went out, was on his show on Saturday. He's all pissed at Vince the lawyer for not calling him back or answering yeah, his phone yeah. or whatever he's mad at him for. And Vince had sent him Modelo's and Lunchables. And John's drinking this Modelo. He's like, all right, I'm just going to drink this Modelo and eat those Lunchables. But then I'm done with Vince the lawyer. <laughs> what a pathetic <laughs> boob. <laughs> 
All right. James R. We need two. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's get you guys out of there. That'd be great. Matthew Raleigh says, Carl, please tell me who did those tips. Beautiful. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. sir. You look fantastic. I do look fantastic. Thank you. Funeral director, 10 bucks. Uh, hashtag F Phil Elephant. Hashtag F Joey C143. Oh, uh, we, we like Joey C. Moose the Goose, 20 bucks. Just catching up. Merry Christmas to all. Merry Christmas to you. Merry Christmas. Kato style, nine, $10. Christmas came early. This is amazing. W ATP forever. TWO forever. Cardiff rules. Thank you. Drew and Mike show. Yeah, I've been trying to get Drew to come on the uh, the round table, the point dabble point. Two, 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 two key world order. T W O. <laughs> Mr. Data Head, Master of Disguise. He can turn into over 50 cup and be in my basement. <laughs> All right. Oh, How's my no. background look better than yours? I don't know. That's weird, <laughs> right? Uh, that's the one we just read. Aqualung with two bucks. S. Joe has gone live. Snipe. No, we're not going to snipe, considering John. R. Murray, $5. Call me old fashioned, John, but I like Potato, my puppet, and my Carl doing things. They're choosing, of course. I, I got to say, it's pretty exciting over there. He has a new t shirt. Should we snipe it? No. <laughs> There's no a, I've no. never seen a beige t-shirt on John before. This is amazing. Do it. <laughs> <laughs> now you got me. Now you got me, Cardiff. Now I have Let's to check move. this out. So exciting. <laughs> Look, it doesn't cost me a lot of money to file this lawsuit. Oh, no. Oh, you are no. a fucking idiot. <laughs> Potato, no. if you think Stop it. I'm not going to file. Stop it, John. You can't do this. You're losing. But <laughs> I would just say, okay, just oh, both no. of you. And uh -huh. I literally, I literally said it last night. He couldn't have picked the least, the most transformative thing I've ever done on my channel. I know. Just strike. Just strike. Like, if that's the one we're going to have to take to court, I have the most confidence in that one of anything i've ever done wait is he talking about muttering Jay you want to hide behind a puppet <laughs> oh, wait a no. No. i was gonna send you a gift that's <laughs> oh. why i asked this idiot on twitter for your address i wanted to send you some vaseline so uh -huh. the puppet that's why he's pain when you stick mean? your hand up his ass good one it's a puppet. That's why he was Retired. so excited to get our address so he could send me some Vaseline. Mm -hmm. Man, that would have been uh, three or four shows worth of content right there. Vaseline in the mail. Hilarious. What next? A COVID test? Wow. But he's just about to say again that he was going to offer us a truce if we take down the video and don't repost it. John, that time is up. I already yeah, offered that. You did yeah. nothing. That time so is now I, I called your boss. Yeah, yeah, the the offer is off the table. We're going I'm, to court. Yes. Baby. I'm still negotiating. You're stupid. <laughs> <laughs> we oh. should be doing these court things at the same time, and we're gonna have a live event. It's gonna be yes. everything that everyone could hope and dream for. It's gonna be the biggest event. It's gonna be fantastic. Can I can I make a prediction? Can I show my how how much foresight I have of what's gonna be on Dabblers Anonymous tomorrow? Yeah, because I'm already seeing it with the beige T-shirt. <laughs> the pit stain posts are going to be flooding Dabblers Anonymous tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> you can make his arms no. at all? Uh, yep. Uh, oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. There it is. Oh, boy. There oh. it is. Oh. Why is it? That, it's not even that warm right now in, in LA. <laughs> it's like 60 degrees out. He was wearing a blanket yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Uh, maybe I'll leave that. Let's leave that up. <laughs> All right. Uh, Dangle That's Bird. hurtful, Carl. <laughs> Danglebird Uber Dangle. What's next, Frosty K? A faux hawk, spangled trousers. Fantastic show slash panel slash guest. I agree. I had no idea. It's going to be such a good show today. Carrie C, 10 bucks. Hi, Carl. To 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 tukey tukey and powder potato to yay. So glad I caught this show live. Yeah. Glad you're here. Dagobert un un Uber Dangle. I don't know why I'm struggling with this one. Dagobert Uber Dangle became a YouTube member. Thank you very much. Dave, the great dabbler, the great dabble caper. Reels. Wait, all right. You guys were debating this. Is it Reels? 
Say the other one so I can say yes. Or Riles. Riles. I think it's Reels. I'd say Reels. Or Riles? Reels. Riles Reelison. He used to say that I was the only one who said it right, and now I don't know remember what I used to say. <laughs> okay, well, or, or, if somebody isn't reels, I guess what we ever would say. Or it's reels. Rails. I think it's Riles. I before E, except after C. That has a, that's spelling. That's not pronunciation. No, right. no, she's Riles. going. She's except got for, something except going for here. Neighbor and way. <laughs> Riles, Tim, Rails. you're brilliant. This is all brilliant. Yes. Thirty one. days in. Ju- no. <laughs> <laughs> Night's a better man than John. John is sitting in a room with his walls covered with magazine pages and letters circled that spell out Timothy Duransky is a potato. Skola. It's hilarious. Mm-hmm. Timothy, we say your name, says Zachary Hoffman. Mm-hmm. Thank you. And oh boy, look who's coming in. The big roller right here. The man that everyone adores in the dabble verse. Here comes the money. Here we go. Thanks for the super chat. There's David Chandler, Gandhi, Jesus, and Abraham Lincoln. David fits right in with this group. So we're getting caught up right now. The Super Chats are happening while we had Tim on the show <laughs> revealing how he was trolling John. And he says, Brav fucking O. Ah, <laughs> that was something else, huh? That what was... a day. Uh, Trevor Zero, this one's for you, Tim. Uh, and and by you. the way, you know, Tim, that I'll take you out for dinner next time I see you. So this money actually will go to Tim eventually. I'm a very generous man. I'll, I'll, if it's a hundred dollar bill, I'll still pay it. If it's a hundred dollars, if it's any more, I, then I don't know. I, I loved, sorry, I have to pat myself on the back, but I even loved yeah. last night pretending that I was tormented as a young boy by Timmy <laughs> when yeah, I was I well into my twenties <laughs> watching Timmy. <laughs> I was laughing at that too. Penis Rick with 12, 10 bucks. This is the greatest thing I've ever heard. Take my money, please. We will take it, sir. Thank you very much. Fireman John, I'm going to DM SJ, the potato did JFK. (laughs) I knew it. People said it was the CIA, but I knew it wasn't the CIA. (laughs) There was a deep potato. (laughs) Scipio, five bucks. This is funny, but also very sad. I am legit afraid he's going to buy a one-way ticket to Greenland no, he's too much of a narcissist. That's the good news about Centering John. This stuff will bring him down, but he's still the star. He's still the goat. The goat. Yeah. So this will not deter him from his awful behavior. Tradeca 13. How is the devil so much better than the MCU phase three and four combined? <laughs> John just got Thanos snapped, and I can't wait to see what comes next. I agree. As the devil verse turns. Maybe we should start a soap opera. Uh, no, someone really does need to document this timeline. I know. Because Crazy. even like even now going back to old WATP stuff, I'm like it's all coming around again and it's 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 doubling up. <laughs> We're getting the feedback loop as it's coming around again. It's so strange. Well, and uh whoever that person is who's putting out all the old episodes mm-hmm. of WATP up on YouTube, but it's only the Southern John segments. Mm-hmm. That's a good way to catch up. It's fantastic because mm-hmm. yeah. I, I pop in on that from time to time when I see it come up, and I don't remember any of this shit. <laughs> it's three or four years it's old. It's a now. lot to keep up with. It's a lot. Carl, why aren't time. you suing them for copyright and getting damages? <laughs> yeah, I know. Uh, right to publicity. Right to publicity. <laughs> such, John's such an idiot. He's always getting in his own way. So stupid. Captain Quadfather. Wow. Diesel the Builder. <laughs> I get what that <laughs> reference is. Uh, Lazy Shorts, Opie and Anthony, five bucks. He is simply the worst actor ever, especially when he's acting sincere. He can't pull it off. No, Breaking news, bad. apparently the uh, Uber Eats driver is four minutes away. <laughs> okay, great. So we'll, we'll tune in once he gets there. So please let us know. Apparently he's busy declaring happens. war on me right now. <laughs> SJ, Saturday night at the movies, triple feature, Dangerous Minds, Hackers, and The Day the Clown Died, <laughs> TWO. Yes, it was all of those things. Our Murray target gift cards. He should have so many vacuum. He should have so many vacuum cleaners. Yeah, no shit. He needs some more. John Marlowe, my boy, coming in. This guy helps me out with so many things. Yay, super chats. Honestly, John is starting to look a little bit silly. (laughs) (laughs) Yep. (laughs) It's starting to get embarrassing for him. The greater good two bucks. This is what it sounds like when slobs cry. <laughs> Should we do that parody song? I mean, it's already written <laughs> itself, it seems. John Branson, 
I was going to teach those kids calculus. <laughs> That's fucking funny. Can't imagine John trying to figure out the first derivative of anything. Uh, what is this name, do you guys think? Ignacio Seeta. No, all those Mexican listeners you have. You are all in it with stuttering John. Yeah, I know. It's all work. Tuki, no BS. Did you file a counter? No yes. truce? Yes. Yes. I filed it's the counter. Right. No truce. Al, the ball is in dummy's court. He Allegedly. To, now he has to do, <laughs> do it, and uh, we'll go to court. Bay, bay. John's losing his mind right now. Is he? Yeah. Should we tune in real quick? Apparently. Hey. Hey, right. Apparently, yes. He thinks we're on here uh, going through the plan to steal his money. Oh, oh really? No. Okay. Come on. I think we should. He can't believe that. What are you delivering? <laughs> <laughs> Magnums. What do you have? Heineken, Magnums, and Lunchables. <laughs> Hello? Not right. Oh, yeah. Or professional Uber Eats driver. How can they not know how to yell through a door? <laughs> what, are you what is it? And what is in it? Is it beer? What's in there? Oh, beer. Beer, okay. So scared. Oh, now he's happy. He's like, you need my license? This is my favorite part of John's show. I love this part. Every episode. God, he's so mean to the drivers, Sorry, though. Sorry. Why does he just put a sign on the door that says, I didn't order it, go away, or something? Yeah, I know. Put a sign on the fucking door. Unless it's beer. Right. Yeah. If it's beer, leave it. Hey, that, that, come in. Pizza, that might be the lost. sign he did put on the door. That's why he <laughs> opened it. The lawyer is at it again. <laughs> <laughs> yep. He won't come on the show, but he loves to be funny behind the scenes. Well, I don't know about funny. Uh, <laughs> yeah. But anyway, yeah, I wasn't... Um, I wasn't. I wasn't sleeping. Oh no! <laughs> I'm gonna play say. that. I'm gonna play that in a minute. Send me. Oh, me. God. He got me. Lunchables. Lunchables. Pizza mm. with pepperoni. Yay! Well, I could use these at the army tomorrow. He looks genuinely happy about it. How did Tuki oh. know that? It's amazing how Tuki knew all that. Yeah, I know. Do you think that? Could a you? Beer I'll never drink. Heineken. You don't drink. He oh, he's mad at Heineken. That's right. Heineken. Oh, this I forgot about that. Guy. You'll drink that. You no, idiot. he 100% will drink don't, it. Don't lie. I won't drink this on the air. Cats. Um, I wonder if you can order warm beer. I need the extra large bins. The extra large. <laughs> it's magnum thin. It's not. It is. I need finger cuts. I'm hung like a extra jalapeno. Uh, uh, but thank you. I don't want to talk about oh. John's penis. Oh, and by the way, Second one of the cats did make an appearance two weeks ago on a political show. Honest, I, don't, yes. I don't think I know anybody. You brought that up. Yes. I haven't seen it. School! Uh, but anyway, thanks. Thanks, Leo. Okay. <laughs> that was fun. I'm glad we caught that. Mm -hmm. That was very good stuff. I do have the um, the episode he did. We're going to play it. I, like I said, 2,000 times speed. We're going to hey, watch. That's, that's my bit. John Napping. I know I've been inspired by you, Cardo. You and As I tend to do. All the you. kids. All the kids are doing shows like me these days now, Carl. Wait, Carl, I don't know if you know, but he wasn't actually sleeping yesterday. Wait, what? He wasn't actually sleeping. He got is, you. He fooled you. Is nothing real? No, this is all a work. He fooled you. Can you believe it? Are you sure about that? <laughs> <laughs> It's, it's a lot easier for Tuki to do that shit than me. Because <laughs> Anyway, uh, a reference just saying powerful pooper two bucks. 900 pound cement arriving Thursday to Kenoga number two. T-W-O. Let's not make mm -mm, mm -mm, threats. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Uh, Joe Spasto, what was that trivia app SJ wrote for? I believe it was a middle school. <laughs> Phil Riley became a YouTube member. Thank you, Phil. Jeff Spangler. Jeff Spangler, who sends me all the great cop videos we play on the creep off. T-W-O-F-H-J. Hi, everyone. Hi, Jeff. Thank you, buddy. Hi, Jeff. Appreciate it. George, what do you think that last name is? Kazanjian. Kazanjian. You decided to take a stab at that? <laughs> I think she got it. Good confidence, <laughs> stupid. you got to start the babble verse. King Carl reigns. <laughs> babble, 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 I believe is the... Uh... Babble, babble, babble. 
Yeah, Opie's fucking grating on me lately. These lazy <laughs> shows that just play clips. Could you imagine if I came on the show and I'm like, coming up later, we're going to talk about Mr. Love's company, and then I got a clip about surgery. I'm like, no, I can't imagine that. You've never done that. That'd be amazing. No. You should do that. God, what the hell gets Opie up in the morning to broadcast to 40 people? Like, wouldn't you have quit so long ago and go, okay, this just is not working. There's no point Dude, in waking up at 5 o'clock in the morning. Thing. It's the thing that you talk about all the time, and you're spot on with this. Thank you. Opie doesn't have friends. When Opie gets on there and he sees his regulars come into the chat, he's like, hey, so-and-so is here. I I know you. Hey, like those are his friends that he wakes up with and has a conversation with every morning. Right, but Tuki knows. Facebook group meetups. Yeah. The Facebook group meetup was pathetic. Are we just bullies? Yes. Hacka hacka, but no, Tuki knows he'll get six hundred people for um, you know, to wake up. Like if I, w- I know if I wake up at five o'clock in the morning and do a show, I can get at least six hundred people, and I still struggle to get up at five o'clock in the morning to do a show. So I can't no imagine. No one told me there was going to be boasting. Thank you, thank you. So I cannot imagine getting up literally almost every day at five o'clock in the morning to broadcast for those forty people. Well, you you got to remember though that Opie is like a sixty year old man. They get up at 5 a.m. They go to bed at 8 or 7.30. They watch Jeopardy. They go to bed. Yeah. And then they're up. So but Opie's he was also anyway. pro- he also programmed his body for many years to get That's up true. at that time. Yeah. That's true. He's not so it probably alarm. wasn't easy to fall back into it. <laughs> Gartner fan, two bucks. My six-year-old hated Lunchables, <laughs> but not old John. John. One of, the, one of the funniest revelations that came out of Tim today was the fact that John admitted to having tons of sock accounts. Mm-hmm. Tim. Are you still there? I, I just picked yeah, up right him here. out of nowhere. He's just been uh, he's just been hanging out, watching and listening. So he put I, something I, in the private chat that he sent you. Oh, did he? Sock oh, account yeah. that is. Shots. He's there. Oh, he sent a pic of him admitting to his sock accounts. No shit. So I'm yeah. still here. Okay, Tim. How many sock accounts did he say he had? I think he's saying in the in the chat that he sent you pictures yep. of it to your email. Okay. All right. I'll pull it up he, then. How many did he say? Yeah. How many did he say? Can you repeat the question again? I don't know if you can so John me. was talking about how he had tons of sock accounts. Did he put a number on it? Did he give you a sense? And was it just on Twitter or was it on other platforms as well? He's listening in YouTube. He's not listening in StreamYard. Oh, he's watching okay. the show now. So that's why it's a little behind. Yeah. All right, well, I'll, we'll wait. I'll find the note. <laughs> Thank you, Tim. Anyway, I just, I love that because I remember John saying he never had any sock accounts. And then when I confronted him about it on the, you know, we did our shows where we talked to each other, I listed all the sock accounts and he didn't deny it, obviously. Yankee fan and Maple Leaf fan. I was just going to say, he picks the most obvious ones, so too. stupid. Maple Leaf fan does not give a fuck about hockey, only about <laughs> Stuttering John and Stuttering John's guests for some reason. Go figure. I don't know how that works. Mongo coming in. Here comes the money. Here we go. Thanks for the super chat. Mongo, even though Tuki is well on his way to a primetime network soon. We appreciate the support. Oh, Tuki left just as he was getting a compliment. Mongo, 50 bucks. Mongo loves you all. We love you more than a friend. Mm-hmm. Mongo. I will gladly dox you Tuesday for a super chat today. <laughs> That's an old reference. Uh, Market Zero Dude, FKB, TWO, Drew Blows. What? Donna Gletto. Victory for Tukey. Love you more than a friend. Hacka Hacka. Vincenzo became a YouTube member. Thank you very much for that. Kyle X. Nobody has called him Blubbering John yet. Somebody just did. Blubbering John. It's not bad. I like it. It's getting another delivery. Oh, is he really? Should I pull it up? God damn, this guy's almost too entertaining these days. Put my feet on a fucking snow so she can go. John's not in the house right now. I swear. Don't put up his chat. That's doxing. The court of public opinion will be on my side. (laughs) Who cares? (laughs) Will be on my side. All right. And when I show that I own that copyright... Oh, he's still talking about this. Oh, boy. John, you oh. lost. You lost, buddy. 
It's not no, just either. owning the copyright, John. So stupid. <laughs> you're right. Yeah, I know. Stupid. So stupid. Even, oh, even if you did, like even if your wrong. wife did go and get a lawyer hey. <laughs> to sign paperwork okay. to give you the copyright. I'm not going to keep that up because of the fucking... It's still transformative. Did name, you see what that, just say this. that note just was that someone put up in the Super Chat? No. Look, Donald Trump I also goes after his enemies, John. Blood. John is so Donald Trump in every single way without the success. I don't draw first blood. I don't. Like, I don't go to war with Cardiff. I don't go to war with Tukey. Uh, what's no. he doing? No, just I Billy just... Crystal and uh, Hang around. Sharon Stone. And then they attack me. Yeah. What's he digging in? Like, I emailed Cardiff. I go, watch it turn on me. You mean Tim? I said, All I said what's... when dealing with Mr. Yes. Paulino, the only thing I said mm -hmm. was if we're going to have a meeting, can Cardiff not be the fucking potato and <laughs> mm -hmm. be a human being? Still on I don't like notes. negotiating and planning a show with a fucking vegetable. Again, well, we... again, because he wanted my identity for this <laughs> inevitable oh, moment. To make yes. that request. Correct. When he would be plastering it all over Man, his show. he get butthurt. We don't negotiate with drunks. Oh. And then what did Cardiff? Then he and Vince were going to do a special show the night before to fucking trash me. Then it's not that special. Vince was going to bring in <laughs> it's a great show Lady tomorrow Kay night at eight. Shit way surfing into my show. By the that way, first blood. You know what he wants not more me. than your name, Cardiff? What your friendship? Did I insult? Yes, he had Vince? it. Vince Tuki. Also, you can you guys see how his Did green I screen them? is him? Yeah. not straight? He, and he doesn't have lighting yeah, correct. Bitch. He doesn't care. Yeah. This drives Tukey nuts when it happens on Tukey Soup. Tukey tries to hard on his green screen, and he still gets that shit. I get well, so annoyed when I don't have the lighting <laughs> right when I'm at WTP Studio South and my green screen. Mm -hmm. anyway, Carl, he's still using his laptop microphone I know. to do a Am broadcast. I, did I miss the delivery just now, Cardiff? <laughs> I think, actually, I'm sorry. I think the screen I have is about 20 minutes behind. Jesus Christ, Cardiff. <laughs> sorry. Yeah, I have no intel on a second delivery. Okay. Fair enough. Let's get uh, let's get through the Super Chats. I do have one more clip that we have to get to and some more tweets that Chad put out because it's very funny. I'm getting, I'm just getting here. What have I missed? You missed everything. You'll find it all out. We'll leave this up. We don't take our videos down. Watch this at your leisure, please. Myriad of cards. Please don't settle. He has a make-believe lawyer. Yeah, no mm -hmm. shit. No settling. Yeah. Zachary Tim Alvin. says that the, the pictures of DMs are in your Twitter. In my Twitter. Beautiful. Yeah. Thank you. I, I might pull those up. Uh, the greatest night ever in the verse. I agree. What not, Chaser? I, you know, I'm supposed to have uh, band practice, but I think it got canceled. Oh, that would be. <laughs> yeah, so I think I would That'd get That would be convenient. Safe. What not, Chaser? Two bucks. Ah, uh, yes, another working class loving liberal. Marshall Quinard, two bucks. John Katrina Pitts, one <laughs> <laughs> Aaron Brown, two bucks. License or state ID? We need to know. TWO. Mm -hmm. That was the thing where uh, John was very reluctant to hand over his ID for beer for O'Doul's. I think he thinks that there was a troll at his house seeing if mm -hmm. his uh, license was suspended or not. Fireman John, he's stuck to the friggin' futon. He is stuck to the friggin' futon, yeah. <laughs> The way he gets up. David Forster. Carl, when are you next doing a crossover with Dick? You know, I good question. I wanted to do it this month. I, I'll reach out to him. He's having so much fun with that Maddox video that I have a feeling it's going to be a minute because he has a lot to talk about with that video. Uh, Knight's a better man than John. Five bucks. John eats bologna sandwiches, drinks 18 beers a day, and then has a Lunchable. He has the palate of a raccoon in a dumpster. <laughs> It's not wrong. I want somebody to send him another vegetable platter. Well said. Oh, yeah. But it's got to be a <laughs> week old. Vegetables. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys. Let's watch this because John did an episode on Sunday. First, he was going to do an episode. He was all enraged. He's doxing everyone. He's going to do this episode. It's going to be a big deal. And then he tweets out, no new episode today. I'm having lunch with my son. But then he gets on later, and I guess he's trolling us. As only John can do. This reminds me of before he left the Dabbleverse the first time. 
and he was started doing this thing where he'd, he'd put like shit on his microphone or he'd shave half his mustache or have his shirt on backwards or inside out. And it was like trying to play into this. Oh, they're going to goof on me, but actually I'm <laughs> fooling them. And it never worked. It's never yeah. worked once. The only person who fell for that is Chad Zumach. Mm-hmm. Is the only person who's like, what an idiot, John is like, he's chucking his beers. It's like, no, John, Chad, you're an idiot. That's, that's what he wants you to goof on. So he says like, see, you guys don't even get it. I'm trolling you. No, we do get it. We're all way smarter than you. All of us are. So this is John. Once again, he, he's going to try to pretend that he just passed out in front of his webcam. And I sped this up 2000% so we can get through it. What do you mean pretend? <laughs> so he's so bad at pretend sleeping. This is not how anyone sleeps. He's pulling up a pillow, putting it on his head, pulling over the blanket. At a certain point, he's opening his eyes and looking at the screen to see if he has any super chats. Mm-hmm. He's almost right literally there. doing, he's <laughs> almost literally doing, <gasps> wee, 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 wee. Yeah, right. I know. It's so fake. <laughs> Everything about this is so fake. In all fairness, this is kind of how I sleep. I don't sleep much. <laughs> Poor Tukey. Dude, he was up at 3 a.m. today, and he's here on the show. I was up at 1.30 to be on a call time of 3 a.m. Holy shit. Oh. My body's you're, killing me. Slowly. You're a better man than I, too, and I appreciate you coming on today. Oh, I had to. Oh, I appreciate it. Fucking dope. <laughs> so this is a 15-minute long show. Okay, now this is finally the big reveal. Look at his bony oh. arm. This is what I wanted to point out. He's John built- acts like he's going to beat everyone up. He's Let me just hold on. Simon I'm going to... Did you ever I see that movie back. Birch? No, I haven't seen that. What? Oh. You're making more movie references today, Tukey? Is that the kid on crutches? No, he, yeah, it's a kid who has a body like a turkey. And he, <laughs> they, like, think of Eric the Midget if he could walk. And go watch Simon Birch. John has the exact same body structure. I'm telling you, it's true. I'm club-fucking-footed, you ass-wipe. <laughs> Sorry, took me a second to find that drop. <laughs> All right, let's get back to John's bony arms. Oh my god! Mm. Oh, and when he gets up to do the big reveal that this was all a goof on us, look at how fat his face is. I want you to key in on the double chin he has going here. Look at this. Oh! <laughs> oh. <laughs> Got us. <laughs> So this is the the tweet he put out or the tweets he put out after that to let us know how he's winning. Put it in perspective. I made around forty five dollars in super chats in just fifteen minutes of me just pretending to sleep. Shit, layer, let that sink in. You can never <laughs> brag about making forty five dollars. I don't care what you did. Forty five dollars. <laughs> oh my god, that blanket he had on him. Oh, I have a thing about that too. More people will watch me sleeping than the shit wire. That's not I true. Think so. Well, no, that's a that's a deep buying views tweet, I guess. Is it? Yeah, he's going deep with that one. I, I'll give him respect for that. I had over 300 people <laughs> engaged in just me sleeping. I proved my point. No, you didn't. I guess it's time for an emergency show from the shit network. 300 people of me sleeping. John, check your grammar. You can play on people's grammar. 300 people of me sleeping. I am the goat. That was a blast. It's too easy. It's not the win you think it is. <laughs> Fucking idiot. And this is, um, I want to <laughs> shout out <laughs> to uh, Dabble and John at Dabble and John on Twitter. That was anonymous. Because when he pulled that book up, I went, oh, that looks disgusting. Yeah. John is not a big, not big into laundry. I have a feeling. It doesn't it's, look like it. It's so gross looking. <laughs> Unreal. All right. Well, that's what I wanted to share from uh, this emergency episode. <sighs> Talk about stuttering John. And wow, it couldn't have gone better. I am O. Gartner fan. Five bucks. John has a couple of comfy pillows behind his back and a comforter over his lap. Like all the great tough guys and my <laughs> Nana. Can, can, Tuki, can you really read upside down like that? Yes, yeah, so I can. Oh, okay. <laughs> but yes, he had that Nana blanket. I wonder what it smells like. Oh, oh I don't want to know. That apartment's got to smell I kinda so do. rancid. I want to smell it. John, I'll give you 10 bucks to smell your blanket. <laughs> we'll I got a call <laughs> from my buddy Earl David Reed, EDR. I got a call from him today. He had the most brilliant idea that I'm not going to share 
But if you guys stick around after we leave, I'll tell you guys because it's really fucking. Yay! It's really Good smart. Man. And I think it's going to work. Uh, Captain Quadfather, two bucks. Take the Dolt to court. Blaze the Builder, F Old Dad. Yes. We're Trudeca, doing it. 13, 13 bucks. Carl, it's me, Jets fan, and my friend, Navy Admiral, told me that Lucy Tightbox is named at for putting children in tiny coffins while they are still alive. Comment? Allegedly. Is this no, another no reveal? Comment. No comment. <laughs> so it's about a vagina. It's about her vagina. Oh, yeah. Tuki knew. Yeah. <laughs> it's not factually accurate, but it is about her vagina. <laughs> Padre comes in. John is built like vagina. I have a vagina. <laughs> Card of the king of the drops. <laughs> you might still uh, call replace me. producer Chris one of these days. That's what they call me. I mean, I can't help that they're calling me that. That's true. Um, what am I missing here? Dr. Ivo Robot. Nick, who's that? I don't Isn't know. that from Sonic, the bad guy from Sonic? Oh. I have a robot. Yeah, Doctor Robotnik. Yeah, John is built like Doctor Robotnik from Sonic. Got it. What's Sonic? The Sonic Hedgehog. The Hedgehog. Oh, the video game. Yeah. yeah. Jesus Christ. A brownstone, sixty-two bucks. Over under on the time he's washed the blanket. I would say a uh, half is the over under on that. I'm sorry, Tuki. <laughs> this is why we need to continue. You'll remember the 90s. People are forgetting the 90s. Yes, they are. <laughs> I was a Nintendo guy. I didn't have a Sega. The Blatcast, five Sega. bucks. What an amazing day. It couldn't possibly be topped until tomorrow, 2 p.m. Eastern, when Eric Zane and Christian Blatt are live on this same channel of who are these broadcasts? Broadcasts. Not who are these socials, as Cardiff said. <laughs> Or broadcast. No, I said broadcasts. Broadca well, you also broadcast. said socials, but Yes. Who are these broadcasters? Is on this channel every broadcasts. Tuesday, 2 p.m. Eastern with Christian and Eric. They do a, a fa fantastic job bringing you all the news on broadcasting from the week. And, and broadcast And a lot of silly things that happen on local news. Uh, and then Daniel comes in with John as a mix of Eric the Midget and Perry Caravelle. Yes. Yes. Correct. Yes. He's becoming, he's become Perry Caravello. I pointed it out on the most recent episode. The way he gets disgusted by O'Doul's and different things coming to him is just like Eric the Midget, or Eric, I'm sorry, a high pitch Eric Actor. with fish. And um, and it's just like Perry Caravello with fish filet or whatever the fuck he well, Someone wrote in about that about a month ago that made that connection. Yeah. I wish I could remember who. And, and if only this. Eric the Midget was alive today, he'd be a millionaire. Mm hmm. On YouTube. Oh my God, he'd have the biggest channel ever. Mm -hmm. He missed um, a boat. Oh, did you see who started a new channel today? Who's that? Jim Norton and his giant oh. man, woman, wife thing. I saw Nikki. That. I did. I did see that. Oh, Nikki, is that her name? Nikki. Yeah. Yes. Well, I like my she. name better. Giant man, woman, wife thing. She's a beautiful woman. Yeah, she's beautiful, like my Annie. Well, not exactly. No, exactly. Like my auntie. <laughs> All right. I got one more thing to show everybody that just came over. Is it transformative? From, uh, yes. Yeah, make sure it's transformative. This just <laughs> just came over. From, uh... <laughs> this is Stuttering John's message to our buddy Tim. Please don't take offense, <laughs> but did operate the account called Twitty at Police. What? John was Twitty at Police? Sorry. Hold on. Someone's got to give Tuki some credit for the visual gags. <laughs> I'm not even watching. What did I miss? <laughs> Put a super chat me. back up. Okay. <laughs> oh, I can't see. <laughs> <laughs> Very well done, Tuki. Yeah, I'm sorry. Uh. I was too busy. I have a producer over here. I just have a jingles department. This is shocking and appalling. You mean to tell me that John was twitty at police all along? I know. Who would have thought? And, the guy who called twitting. people on on, idiot, on Twitter twittyats came up with twitty at police. And he's also hypocrisy police. This account came back in a search I ran about people posting about you. I don't want to spend time investigating if it was you. You have my word that will remain silent oh. if you say it was. Also... If there are any others you want on the list, let me know. Tomorrow, my guy will be working in the email address you sent me. Working on the email address you sent me. <laughs> oh, my God. 
this is unbelievable. <laughs> I mean, there's so much to unpack here. I, I'm going to need a couple days <laughs> to figure all of this out. What I've a day. So many. Cardiff Electric. Obviously, you have um, Subreddit Surfing tomorrow night on the Subreddit mm-hmm. Surfing YouTube mm-hmm. channel. People need and you to can call me Tim. Them. It's okay. Timothy, yes, of course. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Jesus Christ. He prefers Tim. That's so fucking funny. Uh, yes, so yeah, Subreddit so Surfing tomorrow that. night. CarlsonComedy.com for tickets to the March 9th show uh, in Rochester. Still <laughs> CarlsonComedy.com. <laughs> what? And then um, also you do uh, Potato Soup. Allegedly. Sunday, Sunday nights. Sunday nights, allegedly, yes. You did about three and a half hours of Yes, I did. I got through the whole thing. It was it was great. You guys are awesome yeah, on there. You and Joanna and OJ. Mm-hmm. OJ, who I invited to come on the show today, but he was busy, unfortunately. And then, of course, we have our wonderful guest, Tuki. Fantastic. And you know when I get the question a lot, people on our uh, YouTube channel and stuff, they say, where is Tuki's Rumble? channel where can i find this video oh where they play john's uh adult children giving the speech at his um yes. step stepdad's uh wedding yes it is beautiful it is speeches giving by uh, two very well adjusted adult children despite all the horrible upbringings and things they had to experience in the past but thankfully for once a black man saved a family instead of ruining one and came to save the day, and now they have a loving home, and it's fantastic. But you can watch that on Bedabbler Show on Rumble. Just look Bedabbler Show and look for the video that says, this is the video John doesn't want you to see, or something like that. Oh, wait, no. You, I just, think, you just say for left- the first time a, a black man saved a family? Yes. Home Does. run, Kumia, home run. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Kumia. Very I'm the lost Kumia child. And, of course, be Dabbler on YouTube. Subscribe to that. Yes, TukiSoup.com, everything you need. I don't think we're going to do a Tukey Soup on Wednesday. My work has been crazy. Yes, John, I have to work to make a living. I can't just pretend to be asleep on a stream to make $45 in 15 minutes. Ah, uh-huh, see? He's winning. He's the GOAT. <laughs> yep, that's true. It's he proof. is. He's the GOAT. Smells like shit. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Very good. And, of course, Saturday mornings at 10 Eastern, you do El Horrible host a show. Yep. Tukey Soup, TukeySoup.com, everything you'll see. But yes, be dabbling live is Sunday or Saturday mornings, 10 a.m. Tim Diff Electric, formerly Bob's Chicken Briquette, <laughs> says, All hail King Cardiff. Apar apparently Melton drove Kate Meany off Twitter. That doesn't surprise me. <laughs> Kate no. Meany was not made for this world obviously no, she doesn't I just, she doesn't get it i just saw a tweet she sent or uh she, i guess melton uh brought uh tweeted a text message from her that said that she was going to sue him and he said please <laughs> everyone's suing each other everyone's suing Why? Everyone. cuz they're stupid so they don't so fucking stupid. get it they don't understand damages and proving feelings. damages and uh, feelings it's all about feelings and friends and if i can't have friends and everyone's going to hurt my feelings i'm gonna sue everyone sue everyone it's so stupid all right the dolphins game is on everyone enjoy that thanks for tuning in today we had over 2100 people watching live i think that's a record for when i'm on this channel we we broke that when i was talking to centering john but for talking to puppets and potatoes Mm -hmm. this was definitely a record for us so So did you you break even from fruits vegetables and potatoes did you break even from buying the views yeah i think we broke even on this one yeah this is actually impressive I also I also paid for all of those super chats that you saw. Yay! <laughs> oh shit, we're still on. Fuck. God oh, damn no. it. That's why I need oh. a producer over here. Thanks everyone. Oh.